for Shavo, uh, we would do this thing we thought it was the funniest thing on earth. Do you remember the soap dispensers in, public, in like, bathrooms, yes. right? So yes. you press down on them and it squirts soap out. Yes. They still have those. Yeah, yeah, but you know what I mean. Shut up. Let me guess. <laughs> He's like, do you remember that? Hold on. Yeah, guess, guess Let what me we guess. Did. Was it cum? Yes. <laughs> We would. We Why would, is John so shocked that I? Would no, we would, that. we would. We would literally skip class, go to the bathroom, just to squirt it out real quick, and go like, <laughs> and like scream in the bath. It was. It was. You the would funniest. come into the machine. <laughs> no, we made his soap look like cum. We thought oh, it was the God. funniest thing on earth. You we did. We would do it for like retard. twenty minutes, and then go back to class, and then like, it was amazing. It was so fun. So you guys. Uh, <sighs> I am crazy night again. last night. We went we went to go see um Napoleon. John had his old high school friends in yeah. town who he went to high school with because he's a grade below us. So he was held back. He, I was know. held back in the ninth grade. So he had a, he has a whole other group of high school friends. Joey and I we were, you know, Mensa candidates. <laughs> so we were yeah. we graduated much earlier. But so we went to go see Napoleon <coughs> with John and all of his high school friends and we get a little boozed up before, I guess. Oh, we were menacing. We went to Maruya, and Japanese people have an option. They'll give you, like, you can get, like, a three-ounce Sapporo, or the next mm-hmm. size is, like, 34 ounces. They give you yeah. a cartoon-sized mug. It's huge. And so we, we we weren't that drunk, though. So then we go to Napoleon. But two of those, and then a bunch of sake. And then you realize, like, two of those are six beers plus all the sake. Yeah. So yeah. kind of hammered getting to Napoleon. Sake's fun because you do shots, but you don't feel like it's, like, that heavy. You know? No, it's like doing shots of wine. It's yeah, wine. A little yeah, bit better. Yeah. yeah, higher wine. So we go to Napoleon. Um, we're, you know, we're, we're, these are guys we all went to an all-guys Catholic high school at, and uh, they're very... Yeah, they're wild. Wild, militant, militant high school. And uh, so just because Napoleon is kind of gay in the movie, we everyone wants to walk out like 45 <laughs> minutes in. I'm like kind of enjoying it. You I were loudly calling him a cuck, like, and people were laughing though. That is true, but that's because like strangers were laughing at yeah. Devin being like, "What a cuck." Well, I mean, yeah, but I was still interested in the, sure, the storyline. Sure, sure, sure. I wanted to see how this cuck became emperor. It emperor, was really. Yeah. I was really confused that uh, the first like 45 minutes of the movie spent all their time just going like somebody would come up to Napoleon and go like. Your wife is fucking some guy, and then yeah. Napoleon would just go like, "Whoa!" Yeah, the movie's basically Damn. it. Basically, is a, it's, it's a show that Napoleon was no different than like Adam Twenty Two. The point's like whoever wins at Waterloo gets to fuck my wife. Yeah, he's like in Egypt, like blowing up the pyramids, and then like his like generals are coming up to him. And they're like, "Your wife is fucking the whole town," <laughs> and he goes, "God damn it, I married her last week." I'm sure there's a reason for why that that's so focused on in the film. I didn't find out, and I guess tell why. I mean, there were Frenchmen in front of us. Did you guys notice that there were the two these two French guys? Left. Those guys were. They were laughing at the movie. Those right, right in front of us. Right in front of us. And then the other people left because they were tired of us calling Napoleon a cuck throughout the movie. So they walked up to the front. They sat like directly in front of the screen. They were like, this is better than being in front of those fucking retards. I kept (laughs) laughing when like horses would explode and shit. And they made them really annoyed. Well, it was one of those where just everyone drank too much where it was everyone was so restless. Like, five minutes would not go by in the movie without a person getting up to go to the bathroom or like, I'm getting a drink. You guys want anything? Like, it was retarded. I don't know why we decided to go to a two and a half hour Ridley Scott historical movie. There's also something that happens when you're with like seven dudes in one group and you're all drunk. It's like very like chimp-like shit. You become like a war party. And the chimp-like aspect of it though is we were all, all your friends were genuinely disgusted like they were they were like god hates fags people <laughs> <laughs> like it was it, like you they were so angry the minute the movie was like napoleon was kind of gay yeah. i knew he was going to be a cock me but, too but i was like and i didn't care and i actually want to watch that movie i just can't watch movies when i'm drinking period yeah. i get so restless i can't focus and then it's just like i walked out i was getting another drink and then while i was getting a drink one of our friends was like Dude, they have Godzilla. 
And then I'm like, what do you mean? There's a new Godzilla? And I heard it's great. I hear the new Godzilla is great. We should maybe go see that. We went right. So we went to Godzilla in the middle of Napoleon. And then the rest of the night turned into me walking (laughs) with Joey into, we went into like three different movie theaters to look for his vape. Because he kept kept dropping it under seats. always losing his vape. So we were like spelunking in theaters. Like I had my like camera light on. We were detectives together. I thought, I just liked that. I I wanted to do that all night. You love losing stuff. It's like one of your favorite. I love losing stuff and trying to find it. It's a pastime. You're looking for clues. It's a real pastime. He's lost and found the floor. Yeah. (laughs) Um, But but yeah, we uh, couldn't hold in our laughter. There's a scene in the movie where where Napoleon. I mean, he he found he found his he found his wife (laughs) in like a day. Yeah. Like just from across the feet, like he just looked at her at like a, at a thing, and then they're just they're together, and then it cuts to him like just butt fucking her, he's fucking <laughs> the shit out of her, and he like, looks like really gay while doing it's it. It's like the way we would pretend to <laughs> fuck things in high school. It, it literally it looks like a kid fucking like the lunch table at yeah. the cafeteria, <laughs> yeah. like to get a laugh. And everyone just started laughing, and then I was like, I don't think we're going to be able to make we're it. We're not going to be. This is the most. <laughs> that's when you knew. I was like, it's not. Yeah, because I was like, this is, uh, that's a comedic scene. And everyone laughed in the theater. And I'm like, so no one's respecting this movie right now. <laughs> no. We're, we're not going to make it another 15 minutes. And then that we did crazy. it. crazy. And then we went out. We had a good night. And then I kind of, you know, I packed it in a little early. It was like 2 a.m. I went home. I I, get, I wake up today to a text from John at like 5 a.m. He goes, Debbie, you're going to need to carry the show tomorrow, buddy. We're still out. And then I go I go on John's Instagram, and it's just him. Like, he's having a home. He's, he's, he's in the middle of Skid Row, like, having a homeless man suck his tits. <laughs> <laughs> he's standing on a street corner with his tits being sucked by some, like, crazy guy. And then and then another homeless guy walks by. Can you by. go to play that video? Play the video. Another homeless guy walks by and asks for money, and John goes, get the fuck out of here. My tits are getting sucked. <laughs> it was deranged. It's it's like um, when fuckboys be like, last night was a movie. Yeah. It was that, but it was a, a very bad movie, and it was like a student film. It was a gay student <laughs> film. <laughs> it was like so something about the Johns. The yeah, I'm going to find it. I think it's on John's Instagram. So you guys went. I didn't put it on my Instagram. I'll, I'll airdrop Just airdrop it. Oh. Um, the, uh, you guys went to an after hours spot after that, right? And well, then, let's let's start at the beginning. So we went to Spring Street. Go and, on, keep uh, talking. I'm gonna airdrop. We, this. we hit a couple. We hit up pretty much every bar we know. I, I know of, and then we ended up at a gay bar, and uh, that's when right before we went to the gay bar is when I got my tits sucked. You know what's <laughs> annoying about this? What is that? You left the night. You go. You you and Joey got on bird scooters. Like you guys. You you guys got on them. Like 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 it was like. Like Fast and the Furious, we're like we're out of here. John and, thinks he's Ryan and, Gosling in Drive and when John, he gets on a bird am, am scooter. Not? And John literally said, uh, "He goes, uh, he goes, I got to get home, buddy. I got work in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out till six in the morning. And you were out till six a.m. Uh, <coughs> okay, so here's John. I haven't seen this video. Getting yet. Getting his tits sucked by some. I've he been, was a lonely little twink. No and clue. He, who his this tits. Is. he wanted to, to suck his tits. tits. One more time. Oh What's God. your name? Um, yours. Yours? Jesus One Christ, movie? John. You suck in my tits. No, I, I have no cash, You suck in oh, my tits. <laughs> Fucking get it. <laughs> fucking get out of here! Why did you say that? Yeah, he goes. He's sucking my tits. Get fucking out of here! Get out of here! This is like you're like Ratso Rizzo. <laughs> you're like, sucking my, my tits, tits up right here! Get the fuck out of oh, here! Oh, he's sucking my he fucking then, tits up he right then, here! He then uh, asked, "Did we get the word? The best? It's not in the video, but at the end, he was like, "Hey, you got any change?" And I was like, "Yeah, I'll give you five bucks to suck my tits." And then he started coming over here like he was gonna suck my tits. Yeah, that was sadistic. Uh, and I was like, "No, like get out of here." You suck in my tits. No, I, I have no buddy. cash. You suck in my tits. Fucking get out of here. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Who's the weirdest guy? Oh, you got. You might have got it. You might have got it. Hold on, keep playing. We need your He's trying to suck his tits. We don't need your yeah, distractions. Right. Like, get home, you know? I don't know. I know. No, you're good. No, 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 no like offense taken. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing great. But we hard. like to suck oh, tits. John is <laughs> being, John, you are just so being bad. so aggressive with all this. You're being so people. mean to that guy. <laughs> What did that guy do to you? <laughs> Nothing. Said, that was the weirdest behavior ever. I'm like, hey, this guy's trying to suck my tits. He's like white knighting the guy who's sucking his hey, tits. buddy, there's a time and place. <laughs> He's sucking my tits right now at 5 a.m. On, on uh, Grand Street. I just airdropped a photo of... Oh, yeah, put, put the photo up. Um, so then we go into the gay bar. Said it again, Joe. I'm sorry. Then we go into the gay bar. And at a lot of gay bars, they do, like, a clothing check. 
How about a lot of friends going to gay bars lately? Gay bars kick ass. Had, so, a, had another friend. Uh, uh, they, Con- they do like a coat check, but you can just Connor's put all your clothes. So real, real quick, Connor and his friends went to a gay bar, because he's not going to be able to tell the story. Oh, this is so fucking funny. Connor and his, and his friends went to a... Uh, <laughs> they were with he was with his friends and one of his friends girlfriend like wanted to go to a gay bar whatever. I don't know girls think it's like a, a funny thing or yeah. cute or whatever the fuck you know they go and they go ha ha look at bags <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, so they went and then they ran into they ran into a friend that they knew and they were like what are you doing here like they were like you must be are you like they thought he was there because like uh, like a girl must have brought you here they too? Thought, they thought one of their friends sure. hit him up and right. said to meet us there. Yeah, and then he was like, "No, I'm just here." <laughs> <laughs> and he's standing in front of a guy like in a thong, like doing a lap dance. Fuck off! He has a thong on. No, no, he doesn't. But it was oh. literally the veto scene. The yeah. veto spat up for it, and, and, but he was going like, "Guys, I'm not gay." Like he was trying to convince them that he wasn't. That's gay. so sad, man. So this is what. So this is what you did. This is you. I hang out with the boys, man. This is insane, John. You, you are, I mean, you can just admit, you can just come out if you want to. I'm not. I'm not this was the weirdest place. Gay. What was this place called? But you love this shit. Said. You love this I shit. I love being shirtless with dudes. You're hanging out with, like, <laughs> gay Hassan Minaj. And that guy does look exactly <laughs> like fucking Hassan Minaj. <laughs> like, this looks like your friend Nate. That looks like gay. <laughs> what, what is this? this? You just, you know, you just like to hang out with the boys. So you guys why did, do you know about this place? And why, why, did, it's, why it's, did we it's decide right above, to go? It's right above a bar I like to go to. And I went there once with um, Buddy Rob. So you guys did coke all night. Well, hang on. Uh, let, let me just tell about that place first. Let's because talk about we, that. we got there and every single person has their shirt off. So they, have, John, they have a clothing John instantly check. just goes, he's like, all right, dude, I'm taking my fucking shirt off. Yeah, you check your clothes. <laughs> You, you, they came for, they came for, for the professionalism. You know, this is like a horrible way to start the podcast because there's already people on the Patreon like angry at me. Me, they, me. They think I'm John's social worker and they're like, they, they think we're bad friends. They think he's like literally. John is the bad influence. They think he's in the gutter right now. He's the one taking us to these places. They don't, they don't, I mean, there's, there's a lack of understanding this is a comedy show and things are exaggerated, but. But yeah, no, I mean this is also a, John's well, my ability fun. to get crazy it, it, it exceeds. You're when an unstoppable I have you. force. No matter how many how many times I'm, I talk to you, give you advice, we have like like sit downs, one on ones. It's just you leave yeah. and you just go right to a gay bar. Also, kind his of a party office boy. his office does look great now. His mm-hmm. office space looks like a great apartment. I am. In, I am. I it am. It looks like a great studio apartment. Yeah, I'm doing better, done, fellas. His office space is, is delightful. I wouldn't get... It's very I, I wouldn't worry about John. He's doing great. He's having his tits sucked on 6th Street. I'm immensely he's, depressed. He's, 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 you're immense. I'm immensely <laughs> depressed. <laughs> I'm drowning my feelings <laughs> and getting my tits sucked by a twink what? on the fucking corner of Broadway. Why are you so third. sad? It just, it's, it's, I was literally, I talked to uh, my boss about it today. I'm like, dude, I'll have like a really good week and then I'll have a really bad week and I have a really good week and I have a really bad week. And I'm like, what the fuck's going on? I'm not bipolar. I know that for a fact. It does run in my family, but I, I, I've i seen what bipolar people are like. I'm not that. You know what I mean? But maybe yeah. I could be like a little bit up and down. You're, you're on the spectrum of that. I, probably, well, I think we're all on the spectrum of that, but maybe I'm just more on the spectrum sure. than most people. You get a little more yeah. manic than others. Oh, I get very manic sometimes. You're close. But, not, but that's a funny thing. I, I talked to my therapist about this. He's yeah. like, he, I was like, I think I might be manic. And he was like, yeah. John, you're not manic. Manic's when people like have delusions and shit. And I was like, yeah, he goes. I, I have someone I want to introduce you to, and I think you'd be. You guys would would. I think you'd fall in love. It's F. Scott Fitzgerald. Because <laughs> you're Zelda Fitzgerald. <laughs> oh, she had BPD. Now nah, they uh uh. It was like uh, no. We go, we go into the gay bar and you could check your clothes. You check the clothes. I'm just trying to get Joey to take his shirt off. Your clothes. Keep trying to get you take your shirt and I'm a gay guy to get Joey takes to take your shirt. You have to take your shirt daddy. off. No. no, you don't have to. But it's everybody's shirtless. It's like it's rude. That. John was like everybody's it's naked, rude basically. to not. And I'm like, dude, I'm yeah, not gonna do it. This is disgusting. And not not, not homophobic. Gay people. I'm homophobic. not saying gay people are disgusting. No, it's but just it, shirts off are disgusting. Yeah, everyone's fucking tits are out. A bunch of hairy dudes and um. Uh, and John just kept pressuring me, and then a, I, I had a white knight. He had a, a, it was the funniest thing ever. Dude. A leather daddy. John the was the biggest like, guy John, there. John just kept being like, "Dude, take your fucking shirt off. You're being rude." Like, I kept going. I kept going to gay guys, and gay guys would go up to John and go, no, "Honey, you look great. Take your shirt off." Like holy shit. And then, and I was just like, "This." I, I'm like, th- I was like getting yeah. flustered, and yeah. then this like leather daddy He's dude shredded, shredded, jacked, fucking. He had like the whole leather costume, yeah, with like his asshole out and everything. Yeah. 
And he just goes like, hey, brother, if he doesn't want to take his shirt off, then he doesn't have to. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Nice. He, like, goes, he goes, if you don't want to take your shirt off, you don't got to take your shirt off, man. Just do what makes you comfortable. Yeah, and then he's but like, I hey, think, maybe he's not comfortable taking his shirt off. I think he just wanted to fuck you. I think he, he wanted way, to gain trust he out of you. He was like my he was like, shining armor. He's like, let's go talk about how you don't want to take your shirt he off in the bathroom. Bro. He was a cool he guy. He was my bro. He was a big Jack Latino bear. And Well, that's the other thing is, is that's where we belong. You know, we're bears. But yeah, so then what happened? Then we went to that after hours place and like you. So we left there. We got scooters. We got scooters. Yeah. And then we, I fucking fucked my hand up. I don't even know how. From fisting? Yeah, from getting fisted. I, uh, from you fisting. Joey and I shredded on those fucking scooters. We cried. We got, we were like blackout drunk. I don't even remember a lot of this. It was amazing. And we were like, we crashed scooters. We wiped out on some mud somewhere going down a hill. Like it was, it was fantastic. And then we get to the after hours place. And, uh, yeah, then it just turns into, like, you turns into that coke. scene from Flight. Yeah, we're just, like, fucking, there's, we find two more gay guys, and they're just, like, feeding us fucking. John is, like, a mag. I don't know how, like, everywhere he <laughs> I goes. Attract, I attract kill machines and homosexuals. You guys could have died. That's what I said. Yeah, Because yeah, yeah. I, I didn't, I had no I don't interest know why. in I, doing coke. I hated coke. finding out you guys did coke today. I like, honestly, the fuck? there was a bunch of, like. I mean, everyone else is doing it. We had it's a bunch a of test thing. dummies, yeah. you know, obviously. Everyone else is doing it, and they're all on the floor. No, we're they're all like, having a great That time. is sort of the... By the way, I don't even like Coke. I never try to buy Coke. Uh, John found these gay guys, and I would just be sitting there, and one of them would put a, a fucking key up to my yeah. nose, and I would just literally go... <sighs> And then the key mm. would be gone, and then I'd be like, well, okay. It's a real communal activity. It's like... Uh, Did your assholes open up after? Was there poppers in them, kind of? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but that was... That Did was, you guys just start shitting I'm gonna, yourselves? I'm going to be honest with you. That had the best music I've ever heard in any bar. I don't remember the, the music. The music was phenomenal, and uh, it might have just been because it's I was on of, a shit ton of coke. It's because of the environment. <laughs> You're hammered and on coke. You were in your natural yeah. environment. Oh, it was fantastic. Do you ever think maybe you'll come out? <laughs> of the closet? Yeah. No, I'm straight. I posted that picture on my Instagram of you with that guy, and all the uh, responses were, oh, John's like, I can't believe he won't admit that he's gay. I mean, that it's in pause, it's insane at this point. I'm the gayest straight guy on earth. You do like... I would never fuck a man. Gay They're culture a lot. I would never fuck a man. Men you are like so kissing them, you like holding them You naked. always say that you yeah. would fuck a man in like three weeks if, it, if, if, uh, if, if, women if that was your only option. If women disappeared, yeah. It's what do you gay. like about women so much? They're so hot, dude. Tits and ass. I'm an ass guy. I like long, tall women. I have like I honestly have gay fucking like long, tall that's women. The thing. I you got like, like women you find at a at a at a sanctuary. Yeah, I got like I got like <laughs> gay like women you find women. At, yeah. <laughs> at marshes. I like I have like gay <laughs> I have like, exactly. I got like I got my, my taste in women's crazy. Like I like weird looking chicks. You do. And, like, you like fucking, women that look like David been, Bowie. Yeah, shit, which kind of like means fucking, you're gay. I think though. Kind of maybe. I don't know. But I just I would I just. I'm but let the people know your life's going a little bit. You have a nice your apartment. Devin's really pushing it's, it's this idea. Decorated. My life's going worse than it's ever been. No, I'm no. immensely depressed, you, and Devin Costa is the number one office. cause of all. Show the office, picture of his office. office space looks good. It looks no, it does show the picture. It, no, it looks great. It looks great. But his office space looks good. It looks good. I'm doing better. I just had an off week this week, and I think it started because uh, we kind of like, I think we had like an unofficial thing where it's like, hey, it's Sunday. The boys are done drinking. And we kind of have that like weird unofficial agreement between all of us. Right. I decided to drink on Monday. Mm, I was like, I'm going to go out. You broke it. I'm going to go out. You broke it. I'm going to have a good night. Yeah. I broke it. Well, things will get better. They are getting better. Your office space is is in tune. Yeah, it's nice. You have a bed. You got to slow down on the drinking. You got a lamp. You got a rug. rug Slow down on the drinking. Do a little jujitsu. I got to get into rock climbing or something. I, I need I need to go back to jujitsu. I need to find like an activity that's crazy. Why is it always the weirdest? Like just like take it like a like. How about you just got to get into like do it like go to the gym. Oh, dude! How I come re- everything oh my God. You, to get in shape has to be like I got to get into like jiu-jitsu zip lining. Is or, like, already your crazy. Do you remember thing? me calling you at the end of the night? What what happened? I went into a fucking convenience store right down the street from me, and I went to the guy, and he like looked weird. He like looked Asian. Oh, you wrestling in his Becky, dude? He was his Becky, and I was like, "Did you wrestle?" And he's like, "Of course." And I was like, "Let's go!" And we fucking wrestled in his convenience store for like half an hour. Oh, the guy worked there. Yeah, he worked That's there, and he was like, "He was like, brother, I cannot do it anymore. I'm going to get in trouble." That's but he was fucking sick. great. Were you guys doing takedowns and everything? I he was doing he was fucking my shit up stand up. 
But like on the ground, I was like, let me teach you, you like a couple things. Ground yeah, we got on the ground. Becky yeah, with the Miss Becky get clerk. And then he was like, he was. I was like, dude, you should come with me to um, Eddie Bravo's place. And we'll, and he's like, brother, I got two other Uzbekis that wrestle. Johnny. Let's go. You're the weirdest. Johnny. It was the, in the better. World. You, I just, you gotta get it together. It's just, this is ridiculous. Well, I'm gonna go and wrestle him tonight. I'm gonna go back there. That's gonna be my jujitsu. I'm gonna fight this guy again tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna go to this is Becky convenience store owner every night and beat his ass. <laughs> Johnny just goes to the to his seven eleven to wrestle his Becky. John literally clerk. he does the craziest things that like a child would do and then calls he calls me five minutes. He calls me all I love day, calling. Every yeah, I just day. love calling. He's like you know an elf when 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 Will Farrell's learning new things and he's like, I just turned on the stove and, and he calls so James yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes, Dad, I just turned on the stove. John the, John's like elf. He's constantly calling me and telling me about but like I just, a I hate deranged texting. like I just fought an Uzbeki man. Yeah they're not sweet innocent things that he's learning. It's he's, like I just did no. cocaine with the with the village people. <laughs> I just like calling all the time, you know? It's anyway, better. Yeah. Anyway, let's watch some stuff. What did we have? Well, this is too good to pass up. Okay? This is like out of the Matrix where you're just like, I can't even <laughs> I, believe. I looked at the title. Of I this. can't believe God gave us this. I can't believe this is a real clip if it loads for the love of fuck. But Lizzo flipped over Cardi B's cart. She's like on the back of the cart. Oh, no. And the car, the golf cart like flips up. <laughs> but for whatever reason, the Reddit's not loading. Um, uh, but imagine being Lizzo. It's like you're just. She's disgusting. A, you're a walk in freezer. How much do you have to weigh to flip a cart? 500 pounds? It's got to make it top heavy, oh, which lot. is kind of crazy. A lot. Dude, to, that, like. This is really bothering me right now. It's got to be like fast, the cart. Uh, what do they call it? The. Um, fucking wheelbase. <laughs> the wheelbase of the cart. <laughs> The wheelbase of the I cart. The worst podcaster of all time. <laughs> what do they call it? <laughs> the wheel. Uh, the wheelbase. <laughs> the wheelbase. The that, wheels. Like, <laughs> like a conversation less interesting than like like what's like going on at like a bus stop right now. Oh. <laughs> Sorry guys, I gave you hours of me getting my tits sucked by homos. <laughs> the we What is it? I gotta give a wheelbase. What in do there they call the fluid that goes in that one part of your? Car. What is that called? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, and then he just looks at me and goes, "What is it called?" <laughs> <laughs> Stops even right. trying. Well, least, the, the Lizzo video is not playing, so we're just, moving on from is that. Reddit fucked up. No, it's the otterness. Apparently, Morgan Freeman. The, Morgan Freeman. People are worried about because he walked out of a place. So like ready this. to live the life you deserve. You know how amazing. Is you that are. a fake hand? I think he has like a cast or something. But you have so much to give in this. But people are like, they're all. This is one of those things that the internet loves to do, where they go like, "What the fuck is wrong with Morgan Freeman?" And you want to just be like, "He's eighty six. He's fucking old. Of course, he's walking old." <laughs> he looks like that black golfer from Happy Gilmore with the wooden hand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he looks like Chubbs. He looks like Chubbs. <laughs> He did look like a, a fucking Wendigo or something. Yeah, he looked very. He's odd. like a Slender Man kind a of thing. Like he's like moving around all like like the alien from Sign. Yeah, he, I mean he's he's yeah. But but the internet doesn't understand the concept of aging. He is old and he's weirdly shaped. Yeah, the internet loves shape. to do this. They're like they they love to post a picture of somebody when they were twenty five and then now they're fifty and they go, "What the fuck happened, <laughs> y'all?" Oh, no. And you're like twenty five years hat like like the con like pro the process of aging kicked in. Yeah, I think it's just shocking when you see like a celebrity, and then like Michael Keaton. I remember for me, I hadn't seen him. He took a, some time off, and then when he popped up randomly, he had like a cameo in a comedy movie, mm -hmm. and it was like thirty. It felt like. 30 years overnight yeah, he's like just because I hadn't seen him so I get it it's like it is yeah. shocking but people are retarded they're just like it's yeah. how it, biology works I mean, yeah, you, aging ageism age. and stuff like young people never understand that they will age you know that's how it feels it, it, until yeah. it happens no matter you. what no, no there's not a single young person that's ever like respected the process of aging that's why I love it, what, it just naturally starts happening. Uh, that's why I love like people, especially in comedy, when like age is a big commodity, and you'll meet somebody who's like twenty one, and they're like all proud of their age, or like nineteen, they're a big comedian, and then they're just like, oh, this guy, you know, they'll, they'll make fun of your age for being older, 
And then you're like, I also was 19. You will be my age mm-hmm. if you're lucky. Mm-hmm. And then that's how it. We all had that age. Mm-hmm. It's just how aging works. Yeah. I mean, I never respected age. I remember I was like, uh, I was like, I think I was like, uh, like 11 or 12 and my mom there was this like 15 or 16 year old guy that like I kind of I knew I forget how I knew him but my mom kept saying like he like really likes you and he like thinks you're funny and stuff and like want, wanted to like have like like hang out what? or no maybe he wasn't that's was a little too old <laughs> yeah, maybe, weird, dude. maybe he was like he was like thir- he was like 12 13 and okay. I was like 9 that's still odd, bro. That's not that crazy. It's not that crazy at that yeah. time. I mean, you're, what do you think? A 13 year old's a pedophile? He's like, I want to fuck yeah. that nine year old. Yeah, that's I want to hang. I want to let a 13 year old hang out my night. <laughs> <laughs> but he like wanted to like hang out and stuff and like like yeah. you know set up play dates and that type of shit. And I remember t- my mom would be like, "Why don't you want?" And I'd be like, "Cause it's I'm like he's a f- I'm like." Like he's old, like fucking what a freak! I'm like, he's an old yeah, you knew it was want, weird. I was like, why does he want to hang out with me? Yeah, but he wanted to hang out with me because I'm so kick ass <laughs> at nine. <laughs> but I remember, yeah, I remember thinking like, uh, that's no. Yeah, that's age, odd. even at that time, is like this old fucking man. He's yeah, I was like, he's an old man. <laughs> <laughs> like, like you old yeah, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, Joey, why don't you explain? We got a great case for you guys this week. We I got love a great, case. great case. The case of Wendy Adelson, right? I think that's her name. I think that's her stupid name. And, uh, Joey, why don't you explain a little bit of what you know, and then I'll play this long crime video. Because okay. there is a great murder. This is a great time for true crime. You know, true crime is constantly happening. It, it's it's a it's a beautiful thing. People are always hiring somebody to kill their husband, kill their wife, oh, or crazy. they kill their husband themselves and they kill their wife themselves, or they kill their family, or they kill a guy in the street, or they go to the liquor store and they kill the guy that worked in the liquor store, mm-hmm. or they murder a homeless man, or it's just beautiful. It we never live in a stops great giving. time. There's always killing. There's always a new thing. Hey, hold on, right now. Another guy just got killed. <laughs> is that crazy? Because that that's true. It is true. It is true. And what's crazy? Do it again. Another guy. Devin died. just killed another guy. <laughs> another guy just hold on, hold on. Rape. Devin keeps hold killing on, guys. Hold on, that was a rape. Hold on, hold on. That was a rape. Hold on, hold on. Grizzly rape. <laughs> <laughs> Grizzly rape. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, hold on. Murder and torture of a child. <laughs> Whoa. Wait, do baby in microwave next? Baby in a microwave just exploded. <laughs> Just, explode. <laughs> just exploded all over the microwave. <laughs> and the family is still putting in a Stouffer's meal inside that same microwave. <laughs> just explode. Like a- That's what's sick about the world, is that every second, the worst thing you've ever thought of is happening. Yeah. I, I'm a true crime guy. And Hold I'll on, go real down. quick, real quick, real quick. Yeah. <sighs> Samurai sword to a pregnant woman's belly. <laughs> that was bad. Uh, uh, Take that one back. Uh, uh, Take that one back. Uh, 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 <laughs> and, uh, 40 people killed in a mall. <laughs> oh my god! That's a lot. I'm sure it'll happen tomorrow right. or something. Somewhere it happened. Do a Hamas one. Do a, a relevant one. Uh, uh, hospital just exploded. <laughs> hospital. Devin just exploded. keeps doing these crazy things. But uh, so Winnie Adelson, I'm like Bruce Almighty. <laughs> You're the worst, Bruce Almighty. <laughs> Bruce Almighty, but it just Bruce, keeps going. Bruce Almighty just <laughs> keeps causing cruise missile Mastiff! <laughs> Samurai sword, pregnant woman's belly. You should snap away the 1,200 women who keep pestering you. Oh yeah, yeah, I know. Well, okay, I've gotten some updates oh, on that. Yeah, I've gotten some updates on that. A couple of them killed themselves because of the pain and trauma. Good, that, that's, they, that, that they that's that good they, for that you. They, they said I inflicted on them, but they're dead now and they can't testify. So that's good for me. Um, and my lawyer said that that's looking good. And if hopefully he go, he said he goes. Listen, I don't. I'm not allowed to. You know, I don't believe any of my clients are guilty. Mm-hmm. But that is a good sign and hopefully you did a, a lot of bad to these women to the point where they off themselves and then more, they, and then more they can't start. testify. So we're looking at that and so hopefully <laughs> they <laughs> hopefully they all off themselves <laughs> and, yeah. and then there's no one left um, to put me away. Nobody wants, wow. it's always sad when somebody dies or especially kills himself, but it, when you're looking at it from a legal point of view, it does help the case. From, the, to, from, from a legal <laughs> point of view, it helps. From a, legal, from a legal point of view, it is a positive. <laughs> if they're dead... <laughs> If they all die. If they're removed from this physical plane. If they kill themselves due to trauma from my actions, but uh, alleged <laughs> alleged actions, 
then they can't keep going. <laughs> That's all fake. And, and then it helps my case a lot. They're making up so hard that they kill themselves. These the women, they just, they can't take it. It's like method actors. And all they do is uh, complain. No matter Morning. what, no matter what you do, rape them. <laughs> <laughs> can't even rape them. It's crazy. Sexual assault. Uh, rape's a little bit heavy. It's a, they're I'm all being, accused, I'm being accused of sexual assault, which could be like I held a, their hand up to the fridge, and I was like, "Don't you?" I mean, yeah, you 12. didn't do that though. You held the knife to their throat. That's what happened. <laughs> twelve hundred women is a lot, but let's anyway, 12, let's move on. Over twelve hundred. Devin's I feel like Genghis it's bad to even talk about rape. this because if people hear about this, they they're gonna think you're a bad guy. My lawyer said it was one thousand two hundred sixty-three women. Oh. How many women would you have? That's like we're raping a woman every day for like years. He did it all in one weekend. <laughs> you're like you're like the crank of rape. You're like right here on sound raping. You know, you're like, crank. If he doesn't rape his heart, stop. Crank, but yeah, you're a rapist. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't rape three women in the next hour, my heart's gonna stop. Okay, so Joey, explain the case. Explain the case of this Wendy Adelson case. So uh, this is my favorite case right now. Um, Wendy Adelson went through a bitter divorce. She was losing custody of her kids. To, is that her? That's her. She's fucking smoking. So her <laughs> is she? Yeah, dude. I fucking, okay, come on, brother. Yeah. Her husband, I forget his name right now. Do you know the husband? Charles. Yeah, Charles. I think he was a dentist. And then, so in the middle of this bitter divorce with, you know, custody um, disputes happening, he just gets, like, assassinated. Like, somebody rolls up in a rented car, shoots him in the head, and, Damn. like, it's just, like, a professional job. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows who did it. And then for maybe, like, months or maybe weeks, there was an investigation going. They eventually located, like, some traffic camera footage, and they found, like, okay, like, here's the car. They tracked it back to this Cuban man, and they found him, and he just confessed. They got him to confess. He, they had so much evidence on him. And he goes, look, all right, Wendy Adelson's brother paid me $15,000 to shoot this guy in the head. And then, um, so the brother is now facing trial. And he's okay. probably going away forever. But Wendy Adelson is still free. She still has custody of her kids, and they haven't been able to charge she very her with likely, the crime. She very likely like is responsible. Well, her yeah. brother's not admitting to it because it's her brother. And also, it doesn't do him. And if he admits that she was involved, then yeah, it's like it yeah. hurts him, too. Yeah. Because he's now confessing that he was involved. These women are just... They they are her, they are constantly hiring people to kill their husbands. Yeah, she's got like real nail. Is this vibe. the clip? Who was the Dua Dupolito? Oh, um, uh, uh, Dipolito, Dipolito, the Black Dahlia, uh, the one that like hired her hired people to kill her like her her ex like her, that scam artist finance guy and like Palm that was Beach. her current boyfriend and then yeah so they did like an uh. uh a sting mission. They yeah. had a fake hitman come in, and they recorded the whole thing. Oh, that's a great, thing. that's a great video. That's great. And yeah. she's like, she's like, I, she's like, Nick, come back here. Yeah, the guy come walked. Back back, he walks past the confessional. Yeah. That was wonderful. All right, so let's let's get into this case a little bit. Seventieth. And Joe, you tell me if there's like better videos to watch for this. I, but this, 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 seems, this seems like it explains. Long crimes. The murder always of good. Dan Markell, your dad's big gift. She's got fucking Bo Jackson yes. shoulders. Look at her of go. I gotta that's say, dude, horse. just hearing this music, we're back in the swing of things. We're back in the. We're back. This, I love long. I'm crime. loving long crime, dude. Uh, long crime. Oh man, this reminds me of. This reminds me of Gabby Petito. R.I.P. <laughs> this reminds me of Chris Watts. R.I.P. Hell yeah. This reminds me of our of boy up in Wisconsin. BTK daughter of the of of, of Coburger. 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 Soon to be R.I.P. <laughs> this reminds me. He'll probably be, get the death yeah. sentence at some point. Well, I, I think fucking hope life. that. I hope I they get life. I hope wrongfully they, accused. If there's course, any justice but... in this country, he'll get off and he'll be free. And then let's be honest. By the way, real quick, Johnny touch Depp. DNA is Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. I, Long course. Crime Network brought us Johnny Depp. Real last thing though on on Co. Real quick, Gepetto. on Coco is yes. <laughs> it touch DNA. Here's what I realized about touch DNA. It doesn't even have to be that Coburger touched the sheath. 
Yes. Um, it can be Koberger touched somebody's hand and then they touched a sheath. I know. What? Yeah. yeah. That's fake. So they kind of have nothing. What a bunch on of bullshit. Dude, cells are fake, dude. And also, have they not looked in Koberger's eyes? He's a yeah. sweet boy. It's the most puppy dog eyes I've ever He's seen. He's a scared, sweet he little boy. He's always been nothing but a scared little boy. He looks like a Sandlot character. That, a, that lovable, yeah. that lovable sweetheart. He's a doe-eyed little rascal. God damn him. God damn, God damn what they're doing to him. <laughs> mm -hmm. God, I hate it. I hate it, man. It kills me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to this. We begin the trial oh my of God. Is that, Who's <laughs> fucking Paul Giamatti? That's the brother. <laughs> Is this the owl that killed Kathleen Peterson? <laughs> God, that guy looks so like So that's shit. the brother. That's the guy who paid the hitman. This is this guy paid a hitman. Yeah. Mm, okay. Edelson, the latest alleged accomplice in the complicated murder for hire of FSU law professor. I love Dan all Martin. these people. These guys are always getting killed by their wives. Everyone in this trial looks like a stock photo of a person. Yes, these guys that look like the, this is this, yeah. this Getty image human. <laughs> <laughs> If you look like you're in a Getty image, your yeah. wife is is hiring a hitman to <laughs> the murder. Everyone here looks the picture like a at his funeral that has Getty image <laughs> <laughs> on his casket. Yeah. There's a watermark <laughs> over the picture. <laughs> We break down seven of some of the biggest developments in this trial so far. Welcome to Sidebar, presented by Law and Crime. I'm Jesse Weber. Thanks, Let's get Jesse. to it, Jesse. Let's get to it, buddy. So there's a trial happening right now in Florida that is a big deal. It is the criminal is trial of Charlie Adelson. And I'm going to go over seven of some of the most shocking, maybe bombshell, maybe biggest oh, developments in this case. But I first got to explain the story to you because it is convoluted. So we have to go back to July 18th, 2014. And that is when Florida State University law professor Dan Markell was shot to death in his garage Woo! of his Tallahassee home. <laughs> yeah. oh, this yeah. is a guy that doesn't understand cues or like when to jump in with an excitement with, with excitement. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> when he was brutally murdered and and, and then <sighs> chopped up into little pieces. Yo! Ow! Hoochie mama! Woo! He goes hoochie mama. <laughs> <He> goes, hoochie. <laughs> Major case. It caught national headlines. There's been a lot of reporting on it. And the reason is because you have to hear this story. Where is he? So it turns out the shooting was carried out by two men, Luis Rivera carried and Sigfredo these, Garcia. These two fucking, these two sandwiches, these two Cubanos. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. These guys. Extra pickles. These guys look like they sleep on pickles. Like, <laughs> they, they are Cuban. They, 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 they sleep on a bed of ham. They, they sleep on ham and pickles. <laughs> Swiss cheese. Look at these two. Oh, oh, ay, ay, ay. Oh, ay, ay, ay. Uh, who had driven from Miami down to Tallahassee. You can even see surveillance footage of them following him in a rented car as he was doing his errands. And there was even footage to suggest they were the drivers. But you come to find out that these men were hired and paid to kill Dan Mark. There's no way that guy stood a According chance to against Mr. Rivera, Are you kidding me? the mother of Garcia's Are you kidding children, me? a woman named Kat those, those two Cubans versus that, like, yeah, that white, versus this that white cracker. versus this fucking, this, 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 this guy's not even a real person. He's like AI. Look at this guy. Yeah. Ultimate cracker. Oh, uh, what, what, what does he do to try and get out of being killed? Shoot me he goes, uh, like uh, I can, I can, uh, I can give you. the Die Hard. I, I can, oh, please. Yeah, the Hans Gruber. <laughs> I, I, I can give you guys some free fillings. Do you guys need any? <laughs> you need your? Do you need? Do you have any cavities? <laughs> According to Mr. Rivera, <laughs> the mother of Garcia's children, a woman named mm. Catherine Magbanawa, mm. had set up the murder or was acting as the middle person. Ooh, of the la, la. So you might be saying, well, why would this random woman want Dan Markell dead? Well, it turns out she was dating Jesus a man named Charlie me. Adelson. She was dating fuck? Charlie Kaufman, <laughs> who was working Christ. on his 10th film about a sad, about just more a sad guy. Good Another God, movie about him. a sad guy. Look at that. Look at that. He looks like utter shit. It's like looking in a spiritual mirror. For and Markell's right former brother-in-law. Charlie was a periodontist at the Adelson family. What, what, what do all these guys do? What is periodontist? Like it's bad breath. They work on bad breath their whole lives. Like their their whole life is bad breath. I'll look it up. What is a periodontist? Let's spend ten minutes on periodontist. Periodontist. Look at periodontist. You have a lot going on this holiday season. It's important to save time where you can. With Factor, America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit, saving time in the kitchen is a total breeze. 
Factor Deliveries, chef-prepared, dietitian approved meals straight to your door. They're always fresh and never frozen. Never, ever frozen. I love Factor. I ha- I've, I seriously am addicted to the Factor right it's, now. It's the, best, it's the best quick meal I've ever had in my life. Just heat them up, and in two minutes, dinner's served. Choose from over 35 weekly meal options, including awesome breakfast options like apple, cinnamon, pancakes, and bacon and cheddar egg bites. With so many options, there's something everyone in the family will love. Mm. It's crazy. I wish that I could show, and I would give this to Factor for free, but th- and they could use this as an ad, but it was like my bill on Postmates mm-hmm. before and after Factor. Yeah, I'm spending $10,000 a month. It was crazy. Factor is so cheap, and it's so fucking good. Everything's good. They have options for everybody. You can get the keto. You can do You could do whatever you want. High-protein shit. They'll send you whatever you're into. I'm getting and jacked right now. It's delicious, and it's it's, it's perfect for, for physical specimens like us. So... <laughs> So I, I uh, you know, the the box comes and it's full of your meals, and then you don't have to think about what you're eating for that whole fucking week. It's like incredible. It it's, really is like actually very helpful because like uh, meal prep sucks. Think oh, I'm gonna. I guess I'll get Chipotle. I guess I'll go do this that. It just is there. You're sitting at home. You're caught up. You're caught up doing what you do. I like going in uh, every once in a while. I'll go to a nice restaurant and get food like that. But Factor makes my life better. Thank you, I'm not even them. kidding. Like, yeah, it's, it's true. Like when I have Factor, I'm saving money. I'm being healthier. Mm-hmm. It just I I sound like a shill, but it's actually you feel like a samurai. You just have the food. You go, what am I eating tonight? You go, oh, I got a Factor, and you go into the kitchen. You go into your fridge. You open it up. You you, you microwave it or put it in the oven. And within three minutes, you have fucking a, a delicious meal, and it's better than any frozen meal you've ever had at the fucking grocery store. So with vegan vegetarian, keto, calorie smart, and protein plus meal options, no matter what your goals are, Factor can help you get there. So As head- soon as uh, Factor starts making Denny's nachos, John's oh, going to start doing yeah, the best Exactly. As soon as Factor starts making cocaine-fueled gay meals, <laughs> John will uh, start ordering from them. So head to factormeals.com slash hatewatch50. <laughs> And use code HATEWATCH50 to get 50% off. That's code HATEWATCH50 at factormeals.com. Great, fuck it 50%. HATEWATCH50 to crazy. get 50% off. Get 50% off of Factor <laughs> at uh, factormeals.com slash HATEWATCH50 and use code HATEWATCH50 for 50% off. I think that's a pretty goddamn good deal, folks. That's great. That's a okay. great fucking deal. So, I've been paying full price. Well, I didn't... Unbelievable. I know. Mm. We got. You know, I'm going to talk to Factor. Tell Factor to send me some shit. Get him on the horn. I'm just a fan. I didn't even know we were dad an ad. <laughs> <laughs> I have two in the fridge. You could have. Mm. Uh, well, I have a bunch in my fridge. I, I don't. I'm just saying. Like, I'll talk to Factor about it. You fine. should talk to them. Yeah. You should be handling all the ads because they would send us way more than we probably need, because you're the type of guy that like pressures companies to be like, listen, Bob, I need a year. We uh, <laughs> we still need to we need to figure out if we actually like your product. Oh, oh, by the way, dude, speaking of ads, I do work in advertising. Should we just carry on into the yeah, pod? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Yes. Or... It's got to be a mouth thing. Yeah, I, he's a dentist of some kind. What if it's the art of? Of raping patients. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm on periodontitis. <laughs> yeah. the art. It's the art of, of, of knocking out your patients. A periodontist. And mouth raping them. Wait, let me guess. Uh, okay. Root canal shit. Uh, it's when you no. it's when you give somebody a deep cleaning with your cock. <laughs> it's just a dentist who specializes in the treatment of periodontal disease, which is it's like a gum chronic disease. Implemor- yeah, it's a gum it's disease. It's gum disease. Yeah. Okay. Gum disease. What a fucking fuck these people. Fuck you. And the placement of dental. Fuck implants. all people working. With so he the, did implants. Fuck all people working in the teeth industry. It's a yeah. gross. It's a gross job. place. They're fucking car salesmen for teeth. They never give you it straight. They never give you it straight. You, there's always a new problem you have on the horizon. I was talking to my dentist friend because I had to go in to get a root canal, and I was like... Bad dentist? Bad dentist. So I asked bad dentist. I'm like, dude, I always feel like these guys are trying to scam me or upsell me or something. Like, mm-hmm. what can I say to make sure that they're not scamming me? And he goes, well, just ask what the probability of success of, like, whatever they're proposing is. Cause they And they have to tell you. 
So they could be like, oh yeah, you could get this, but it's gonna have it has like a ten percent chance of like even working. Oh really? Like, yeah. Like, Fuck that shit. So that's what you should do to make sure you're not gonna be scammed by your dentist. Mm, so okay. A little tip for the guys. Okay. They know percentages. That's crazy. Yeah. Well, you know the, the the mouth the mouth community. They're all obsessed with that shit. They love to be like, oh, you know, well, your mouth you can have your mouth would give you a heart attack. You I have heard that. Story. I've heard that too. If you don't flush, you get a heart attack. You need to. You need to. You need to go to the dentist once a week, or you'll have a heart attack. They started bringing the other body parts because <laughs> yeah. they know. They know most people don't give a fuck about it. <laughs> they know. They know we don't care. I mean, people are putting up with horrific mouth pain at random times all day. Heart all doctors day. must be annoyed. By and that. heart doctors are like, "Oh my god, enough! Like, nah, like, shut up! Don't use us!" Yeah, exactly. We have our own shit. <laughs> We're doing real medicine here. But the mouth communities goes, oh, no. It's the teeth. You need to take this, if this, the, you need to do this toothpaste and you floss all day, every day. Who the fuck is flossing? Who is out there <laughs> flossing? Who has the fucking time to floss, okay? I'm watching TV. Who gives a shit? I don't floss. I'm fucking watching I the tube. Water pick. And who the fuck's uh, brushing all day, all every day? <laughs> I, I don't Devin, brush don't... every day. No one brushes every what? day. I'm sick of this bullshit. What? You don't brush every day, asshole. Shut what up. What the fuck are no, you I'm, talking that, about, the, dude? The biggest lie ever this told. Part, we literally had, the greatest I trick had a the conversation. Devil ever pulled <laughs> was making everyone feel like they're the only ones that are not brushing every day. What did me and Connor talk to you about last week? Yeah, that's because of fucking other things. Yeah, it's stinky breath. You have stinky breath, too? You smell like no. utter shit all the time. <laughs> no, Devin's got stinky breath every once in a while. Yeah, here and there, because I have a dry... Because he's not brushing every day? I brush every day, pretty much. But I'm saying, like, sometimes you miss it. Sometimes yeah. you come home drunk at the end of a long night, and you go to bed. You're not... So you're not... Brush well, you, did you brush last night after your coke field night, retard? No, you I brush every brush. morning. I so brush you don't morning. brush every day. And I, wa I water picked... I use a water pick. You don't brush every day, buddy. I do brush you every day. You skipped yesterday. No, you don't. No, no, I brush this There's morning. There's not a chance. Yes, but every anyone, morning I brush my teeth. Anyone living, oh. anyone living a real life, anyone like having anything to do whatsoever with any friends. I skip days. People are skipping days, okay? That's this, crazy. I'm sick of this shit. I skip, I no, don't brush my you teeth act today. like that's a crazy thing. No one's brushing their I'm gonna be, teeth I'm gonna be honest with every you. day. People <laughs> miss it. A lot of people do. That's nuts. A lot of people do. I brush know, my teeth every and day. And they, all they do is they, they, they go home. They, they have no life. They're losers. It takes three, three minutes. Fucking, you're a loser. It takes three minutes. <laughs> you brush your teeth. I brush my teeth pretty much all the time. Pretty much. But sometimes I miss it. Yeah, no, I go once a, once or twice a day, but sometimes I miss days. Dude, yeah. if I, like, there's Flossing days. Flossing is incredible. There's important. days where I wake I up and I have to go get to something, and I go, <laughs> and then Boyfriend's. and then that turns into a day, and then yeah. and then that night we You're hang busy. out, and then I come home, and I'm exhausted, and I pass out. You're a busy I, guy. You don't brush. Did you brush in the morning? No, I'm saying it. There's days that you miss. There's days you miss. This is bullshit. You should stop. You should make every day, brother. I brush. You have a heart attack. I brush more than most people. Most people don't. You yeah, that's think about most well, people. I'm going to be honest with you. The reason I brush every day is my father has disgusting teeth. I remember just being grossed out by it. So that, it's I like have, a psychological thing like for me. I have fine teeth. My teeth are like fine and shit. But like, I'm just saying, I have bad breath because I fucking, I'll chew the fucking, the nicotine gums. The zins. And shit. You get zinned up. A little bit. Well, we only when we record and stuff. But like, yeah. And so yeah. that gives you like, it dries your mouth up. Yeah. Some all have bad breath. That hurts my gums. Devin has bad breath and his ass cracks always out. That's the two things about that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because I... I'm, uh, it's a signal <laughs> that I learned in prison. <laughs> if you show your, if you show your crack, they know you're into it. They know, they know, your, they know your game. Devin has a long ass too. That's the other thing. Mm -hmm. Your ass is long. Oh, I'm sure you have sure you've done oh, the I measurements. The whole I'm sure you've thing. done the measurements, fag. <laughs> He's got it like 3D mapped down his. But computer. I'm glad I'm, it's like a topographical map. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I was finally able to like to to. To tackle that, you're gross. A lot of people are very. Joey's happy. completely on board with me, and, yeah. I, and it's time. I've never, I've never had, I've never smelled so Joey's many, breath once in our. A, how long have we known each other? Twelve years, I, ten years. Uh, yeah, Joey's yeah. had bad breath. You've never had bad breath. Ever smelled? You guys bad. all, everyone has bad breath here and there. It's a thing. <sighs> I've never smelled Joey's breath. Bad like, breath's Ew. another thing that people love to go. When I was like, smoking cigs. Like I would have bad breath. Yeah, I've never had smelled bad your bad breath ever. I remember being with Joey. I've smelled Devin's bad breath in the last week. Wow. I don't remember it distinctly. That's because you were making out with me, faggot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, all right, what's going on with this retard? Lean industry practice. You see, Dan had been married to Charlie's sister, Oof. Wendy Adelson. I'd, come on Dan now. and Wendy divorced, and they were in the middle of a bitter custody dispute over their children. Now, to give you an idea of that, Dan had petitioned the court at one point to prevent Wendy's mother, Donna Adelson, from being allowed to be with his kids, unsupervised. He He's believed that she was bad-mouthing him to them. That kicks ass. So investigators believe that Charlie was the one who orchestrated the killing, facilitating this payment of a hundred thousand dollars to be shot. Oh, a hundred thousand! I thought it was fifteen k. I think fifty k is like bottom for a murder these days. I thought fifteen is what I thought, but a hundred thousand. I was way off. That's crazy. Yeah, that's a lot of money, and they they botched it. It's not that much money for a murder. If somebody is paying me for to murder somebody, it'd be like a million dollars. Yeah, but you hear like, guys like that. in that uh, Dipolito, she like tried to pay him five k. Like you hear, well, that's, that's what's crazy about the murder industry is that you could. There's a lot of sales. If you want a good one, I guess you have to pay 100 k but even this one got botched. Everybody got caught. Yeah, it's very easy to hire somebody to murder. For 100K, somebody. you get like a white guy who's like a professional assassin. But like, how do you find those guys? You just gotta, I feel like you, you know what? It used, like to, be in the from, it used to be in the back of Soldier like Fortune Fassbender. magazine. Yeah, you oh, yeah. To, yeah, you used to be back at Soldier Fortune magazine. You'd find all these like guys. Yeah. Up, but, you know. I think in this case, it was just like, I know Cuban people. Yeah. And I think they, they seem kind of like they're in, involved with crime. Mm -hmm. Let me ask them if they can kill this guy. Mm -hmm. That was the entire kind of process. Guy in the middle has blue eyes. Yeah, I'm kind of hypnotized. Yeah, he's, he kind of he kind of looks like Joaquin Phoenix a little bit, honestly. Yeah, he does a little bit. Yeah. Aired by Magbanawa, Garcia, and Rivera. In fact, Magbanawa, who was working at the Adelson's dentistry practice, was depositing large you know, sums, she's got these three large inch nails. checks. From the practice into her own account, those checks were there's signed. There's always, there's always a loose end that's to, that's that's stealing all the money. Yeah, yeah there's, there's always, always something. there's always somebody that they got involved in this in the in the crime or the scheme, and and they go, okay, so all you have your job is to just open the door. Yeah, and let us in, and then you find out that that person has been siphoning all the money from. The <laughs> right, like, it's always like a truck driver so, yeah. ruins it. Yeah, the guy who drove uh, the people to the crime. Yeah, or the middle guy. It's always at the end of the movie. They always go, "Who the fuck did?" They go, "It was Jeb." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. By Donna, and they were rather large, so it became a question of: Was this really <laughs> for work, or was this because she had? Basically organized. By the way, what murder. is this guy's life? I mean, can you imagine be, how sick you got to be for your whole life to be exploiting other people? I mean, like, not. No, we would never do. I that. mean, he lives no, on the no, set no, no, where no. like they kill all we those women in eight millimeters. We've never once exploited other people for our for entertainment purposes. No, not at all. And this guy is sick. This I guy's don't Jesse. Know. Jesse Weber's a sick man. <laughs> <laughs> He's a weirdo. His studio's in Silent Hill. Look it's, at the it rust a weird, in the background. Blood, it's blood, a weird, blood-stained, rusty <laughs> very background. Eight millimeter. Very creepy. Very strange. He, oh, he, I, I do oh. one thing about Jesse Weber is that he always tries to insert like a little dignity in, into what he's doing, even though it's the most undignified thing in the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he'll always say something now, like guys, and I hate this, and I don't, and I want to give you a warning, and I hate that stuff like it's this. It's very happens. Trumpian. And he goes, and this is, I really do not like this, but. All right, now show um, the picture of the guy with his cock chopped off. <laughs> <laughs> that it's just like the most gruesome thing in the world. How do you think he got his nose broken? Hmm, interesting. Is that for sure broken? Oh, it's broken as fuck. I don't think know. A, think a murderer did it? Isn't think broken? BTK did it? BTK's daughter. BTK's daughter punched him in the nose. Yeah, she wrote his face. <laughs> yeah, Help. And the evidence of Charlie's involvement is very interesting. Oh, this guy's fit. There was a comment that he allegedly made this to Wendy, totally his sister, guilty. after Markel's death, where he said buying a TV was cheaper than hiring a hitman. <laughs> Wendy's ex-boyfriend testified that Charlie had looked into hiring a hitman. Who's that guy? There was also these that recorded phone calls. That is my favorite part of this whole trial, that guy. Who is that guy? So after Wendy divorced this guy... She had a new boyfriend, and that was him. And she looks, he looks exactly like her ex-husband. And so what she tried to do is she was like, she's like a real fucking uh, like femme fatale character out of a neo-noir. This is like some evil fucking twisted shit. She has this boyfriend. The boyfriend's like hopelessly in love with her, and she's like tired of him. But she's like, all right, let me use him because I'm going to try to frame him 
for the murder. Mm-hmm. Just so that it can't ever come back on us. It'll yeah. look perfect. He's my I got, new boyfriend. I, got, I have a dweeb I'm going to frame. And he's je- like he's a, he's obsessed with me. He's jealous. He hates my husband. He's like trying to, you know, it, it makes perfect sense. So what she did was she like basically found out exactly a time that he'd be driving by um, the guy's house. That's crazy. And then that's when the hit happened. Oh, wow. And just in a weird twist of fate, he wow. uh, his plans got canceled and he had to leave the next day. So he but if he, had he just done what he was planning on doing, he would probably look like he's very guilty because hmm. his phone's pinging in the area. It's the new boyfriend. He gets murdered. Right. It's like more evidence than Koberger. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. So he testifies, and he's like, I'm pretty sure oh, she's yeah. framing me. I hate this bitch. Wendy's ex-boyfriend okay. testified that Charlie had looked into hiring a hitman. There was also these recorded phone calls and conversations between Charlie and Meg Banawa. They were suspicious. Were they using code words to talk about what was really happening? I mean, right after the killing, the two were on the phone for seven minutes, and then he made subsequent calls to her. One of the biggest pieces of evidence, though, is a recording from a Miami restaurant. You see, at one point, the FBI did a kind of sting operation. They had an undercover officer go to Donna Adelson, Charlie and Wendy's mother, go to her on the street, mm. pretending to be an associate of Rivera, handed her a news article about Markel's killing, and written on it was $5,000 and a phone number, making it look like a threat or blackmail. $5, Damn. The FBI agent there, said, The FBI is brutal, dude. There's fucking TVs with sound systems that you could buy for $5,000. Like, like, that's like what people are willing to kill somebody over. A lot of people just like don't even mind going to jail. Yeah, they're just like fuck it, five k. People, a lot of people if are like, caught, caught. they're like five k. They're like, yeah, that's halfway to getting a autopilot on my Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do that. Quote: We want to make sure that you take care of what he's going through, like you're taking care of Katie and Tuto. Tuto was a nickname for Garcia. Now the hope was that this would stir the pot, and Charlie and Magbana would talk and slip up. Well, right after this happened, Charlie and Magbanawa do meet at a restaurant called Dolce Vita. And there's a bit of debate about what was Let's look up their arguably menu. said. The conversation was ate? recorded. Balut. I mean, look at that. Look at that Dolce, bitch. Dolce Vita. This, this, this bitch, this feels she looks like a Filipino. <laughs> She's just digging into fucking duck she fetuses. She's like eating duck, duck fetus tonight. She's like, I miss Stephen Paddock. <laughs> oh, the, 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 what, what you want to do is you want to give him the dog fetus and then he will, he will die. I punch in the dog fetus. You gonna close your eye? <laughs> <laughs> Filipinos are a little different. It's more like, don't, 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 That's Vietnamese. Don't, you're doing Vietnamese right now. They're the bouncy language where it's like, <laughs> a little bit. But, 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 no, but whole Filipinos are. I don't know Tagalog. It's weird. Filipinos are like, oh, yes, my, na- my name is Juan Belial. Juan Belial. Yeah, my name's like, <laughs> yeah. It's a little Vietnamese, but I, 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 I Belial, Belial, Belial. Belial. What do you want to do is wait. That's a little Vietnamese, I guess. Bangle. Koreans always sound like they're uh, complaining, no matter what they're saying. Like, or, or they're like berating you. They always sound like they're berating you. Like, who is it? Oh. Yeah, they do. <laughs> they, they always say, no matter what they're saying, like they be saying, I love you. And they, they're like, what is it? Oh, look up, look up, oh. They, that's perfect. Japanese people always sound like they're disappointed. They always, they always sound like very shameful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, Chinese people just do sure a lot. It's like a lot of like Koreans constantly sound like they're 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 dressing you down and they're just really really disappointed in your actions, <laughs> no matter what. Every Korean friend I ever had, I get in the car. And the mom would just be like, "Who's this? Oh, what about the oh? So come on, come to go talk. Oh, what about the oh?" And I'd be like, "What they say?" She goes, "We're going to Carl's Jr." Like, All right. Well, didn't sound like that. Vita, and there's a bit of debate about what was arguably said. The conversation was recorded, and Charlie allegedly says that they should make a one-time Charlie. payment, charity payment to the guy, or kill him. So wow. Adelson was arrested on April 21st, 2022. He Hell was yeah. charged with first degree murder. He looks murder, like one of the guys that got tortured in Abu Ghraib. And solicitation yeah, he does. of murder. Yeah, he looks that like he should have a sack over his head. for him to finally be arrested after be holding so on much two wires. in our living room. Your next unrelated case. It was a plea deal, basically. In exchange, he testified against Garcia and Meg Banawa. And now Garcia's Adelson, incredibly as we're going to see in a minute. And Sigfredo Garcia, 
whom Rivera claims was the actual They're shooter, hot, dude. Yeah, he was convicted of first degree murder. He, they hired like these like birdcage characters to like kill their wife, <laughs> Markel, and he was sentenced to life in prison. Magbanua, in her first trial, it ended in a mistrial, but in her second trial, she brought egg rolls she too, was convicted of first degree murder, conspiracy, and solicitation, God. and she too was sentenced to life in prison. Now, with all that in mind, let's talk about seven of the biggest developments or shocking developments in Charlie Adelson's trial so far. So, number one, there was a bombshell dropped by Charlie Adelson's Ooh, defense team in their bombshell. opening statement. You know, the statement where they lay what? out what the defense will be at trial. His attorney, Daniel Rashbaum, says, well, Charlie this not only not had no involvement in the crime, oh, but Magbanawa wow. and the shooters took the initiative here in killing Markell on their own accord. And then they decided to extort and blackmail Charlie. What you're going to learn is that in the spring of 2014, it became apparent to Katie that her dreams of financial security with Charlie were not going to work out. Is that the judge? The black dude? The big black dude. What is he watching? What do you think he's up to? He's watching Bang Bus. He's watching Baby <laughs> Alien fuck <laughs> three women right now. He's watching Baby Alien. <laughs> uh, he goes, he's like, damn, he's got a big ass goes, dick for damn, a little ass dude. Damn, he tearing her apart. He goes, I need a Kit Kat. You will learn that Katie heard the Hitman joke. You will learn that she heard the million dollar offer and she got some ideas in her head. She says that a friend of hers had shot Professor Markell. She tells him over and over that she had nothing to do with it. He's really lawyering his ass off right now. But these people, she was talking too much. And her friend and these people learn about the problems that his family was having with Professor Markell. As you can imagine, Charlie is his life has just forever been altered. Okay, what's this bombshell that's getting dropped? Yeah, let's do yeah, it. So fuck, people, let's, let's get to it. I hate guys who shave their beards like that. Charlie that, that reveals their goiter. Pay, yeah. And in the next 48 yeah, let's hours. Let's talk about that. Like, like pop, just pop that thing. Yeah, just fucking let Stick it Stick a needle in that and let <laughs> all the pus out. <laughs> Let all the uh, let all whatever's in there. All those pizza rolls. Out let of there. it out, buddy. It's time <laughs> to drain that thing. Drain it. Here, one of his family members would be next. You will learn that Katie repeatedly said that she had nothing to do He's with it. He's going back to baby alien. Strong. You will hear how she said that she would help him. He's like, yo, he's fuck. She's he's fucking three chicks now. <laughs> he's like, yo, they like it. <laughs> like I just watched the post the post game interview. <laughs> post game interview. <laughs> You will learn about the initial payment. It wasn't $100,000. It was more than $100,000. He had, took out everything he had in his safe. You're going to learn about that. The state doesn't know it. So the defense says that Katie was the mastermind, that she plotted to extort money out of Charlie after he mistakenly told her all of the problems that Wendy was going through with Dan and that she knew the Adelson family had money. It's interesting. We haven't heard this theory before, so it's going to be fascinating to see the defense exploring Damn, this. I think Joey's taking also a makes shit. me wonder whether Charlie Adelson... Is Joey taking a, I think Joey's taking a is, fucking is dump. He's been a, gone for a little bit longer than a pistol. You think he's movie. taking a dump in, I my, think back, he's taking, in my backyard? <laughs> he's taking a shit. He's scooting his ass across <laughs> the like ground. A dog. <laughs> like an old dog. He's trying to get rid of the last turd. <laughs> <laughs> Man, poor Joe. As problematic as that would be. Is Number that, two, that's the worst. That brings me to another big shocker, and that is when Catherine Magbanawa took the stand. Do they give you a purple jumpsuit in prison if you're a lesbian? They give you a purple. Yeah, it's like a red badge of courage. Isn't purple the official color of like lesbians or something? I think it's the color of royalty, brother. It's a color. That's why it became gay. during her trial. She testified that she had no involvement in what happened. Right. Well, now testifying against Charlie Adelson. She's like, I'm going to eat the, the pork intestine. Did you have a trial in your case? In the kimchi yes, fry rice? Did you testify? Yes, ma'am. You testified in your own, on your own behalf? Yes, ma'am. All right. And when you testified, were you truthful with the jury? And did you go to Jolly Bee? No, ma'am. I was not. After you testified or before you testified? You that I had nothing to do with it. Was that true? She's a hood bitch. Look no, ma'am, it was not. Were you in the middle? Yes, ma'am, I was. So, Sigfredo Garcia was involved. Yes, ma'am, he was. Alfredo so why Garcia. Why tell the truth now? 
So was Fettuccine Alfredo involved in this murder? It's not a movie. Bring me the head of Alfredo Garcia. Needed to come out now, so that the family can get some type of closure. Why didn't the truth? Uh, uh, that's such a funny year, thing to say. Like, I, the person I killed now, I care about their family getting closure. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah, fuck you. To the pit for you. Or or the oh. year before that, I was trying to defend myself. You were trying to get off. Yes, ma'am. Just trying to get off. Did you think you'd be successful in your trial with that defense? I thought so. Has anyone promised you in anything promised you anything for your testimony here today? No, man. This is crazy. Weren't you originally offered Imagine being in court for something like this, Devin. I mean, imagine, like I had to file one court. Imagine pay. getting this caught up in something this crazy. When I juked my fucking lawsuit, like a goddamn champ. For what? My landlord was suing me. Oh, right. For unpaid rent, I fucking, I fucking, I went to the library. I went to a tenancy union. I did it all myself. I didn't have to fuck. I didn't even hire a lawyer. I just did it, defended it successfully all myself. I had to go to court. It was the scariest thing I ever fucking done in my life. Like just filing the paperwork. Every time I've been in court, like the judge says I did something wrong or something. Dude, you know what's fucked up? You know the most fucked up. You know they always say like, yeah, baby boomers. They used to be able to like fucking like buy a house for like fifty thousand dollars and all that shit. Yeah. You know what they used to do back in the day, and you can't do it anymore. You actually, if you got like a parking ticket, right, or you got like a, you blew a stop sign or something, mm -hmm. you would be able, my dad would always go, just go say, go to the court and say guilty yes. with an explanation. They always say that. Yeah. And then my I'm, dad would always be like, you just didn't tell them what happened. Yeah. I'm like, guilty. I've never had that opportunity. Yeah. No, the, I go, I go there. I blew a stop sign. I went there. The guy's like, yeah, he blew a stop sign. $800, 16 year old. And that was like that life ruining money for mm -hmm. a 16 year old. And it's like, but back in like the seventies, you could go there and be like, I was having a hard day. And the judge would be like, I get it. Yeah. You're a good buddy. Get out of here. Yeah. I'll see you down at the general store. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to buy some nails. This man I was. But you didn't take us. I hate her attitude. No, no boomers like, honestly like have such a, a, a just skewed, skewed view of everything. Yeah. It's like, horrible. They, they, I remember like when I was trying to get a job in like 2010, like right after like the, the, the mm -hmm. economy failed and everything. They'd just be like, just go in and just tell them about yourself and you get a job. Knock on every door. Because in their day, they got they got jobs. Like, they would just walk in to, like, a haircutting, like a barber. Yeah. And they and the guy would be like, oh, yeah, I need somebody to sweep up the hair. And he goes, I, you know, yeah. and, you, and you can live here, too. There's a cot yeah. in the back. Like, they yeah. just, you can. We just, got an apartment upstairs. You can literally get a job, like, your first day, like, walking into a place. Yeah. Just be like, I'm looking for a job. Like, you live, you work here for six months, you got a house. Yeah, exactly. Up the street. Exactly. I remember I was like trying to get a job in like 2010 and I, I watched the movie Sling Blade and, yeah. the, and he's retarded and he's a murderer and he walks into town and he immediately gets a job as a mechanic like his first day out. And he's like, like, and he's I'm like, retarded. I'm not even as good as like he's a, like a, a retarded, a retarded murderer. murderer. Yeah. <laughs> got a job easier than me. I'm tapping. I got a piss too. Hold on. Jesus Christ. Oh, you didn't complain. You look at you. Jesus. He I mean, Joey just took a shit, took obviously. A shit. You took a shit. I, I did not. You took a what? shit. You were gone I for did. a while. No, I did. Of course Man, I, was I was it? sitting here, and How I was, was like. It? How was, was the first push? Oh, you're disgusting, dude. I, I was sitting here, and I was like, <laughs> God damn it. I was like, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to hold this. And I, But it was going on for 30 minutes. I've had that before. And yeah. then it was like, I almost shit my pants. Oh, really? Wow. And then I just had to bail. I you had fart to. on the way in here? Because it smells like a baked pizza right now. Maybe. Yeah, I, I took I the craziest that. shit ever. Thank God I just not here because it was like the loudest, craziest <laughs> shit. <laughs> it's all the laxatives and the cocaine. I honestly probably. That was nuts. All right, so now this this bitch is on the stand, Joey. This 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 Philip. Oh, they, I haven't seen this. Because you thought you could get off completely. Yes, right? ma'am. Who came up with the idea to kill Dan Markell? Charlie. When did the defendant first bring this idea up to you? My first recollection was around Halloween of 2013. Around Halloween or on actual? On, on Halloween, yes, ma'am. Can you like? He, can you claim if you come up with like a murder plot on Halloween to be like it was just the spirit of the season? <laughs> <laughs> can you be? Can you be? Can you be on the stand? Be like I'm like, yeah, lady, listen, it was fucking Halloween. We were I trying was... to come up with some stuff that would make it feel more, more seasonal. We, was, so we we plotted to kill a guy. It's Halloween. It's like I was watching. A, I was really deep into Michael Myers. I was I loving, know. yeah. We put on masks and we we came up with a plot to kill a dentist. What do you want out of me? It's Halloween. I also like the idea that this is Stephen Paddock's ex-wife. 
And once he passed, yeah, this guy was like, "Oh, she's single." Yeah, and I that gets me horny. <laughs> Got in the car with me, and he asked me a question. What was the question? Do you know anybody that can harm someone? Ooh. And did you know anybody that could harm someone? Ooh. Yes, ma'am, I did. Now that is a wild well, that's... Halloween. Imagine getting in a car with somebody on Halloween. They go, "Do you know anybody that that could harm someone?" <laughs> and I go, "I mean, I was just, we were just, I was, I was thinking we just go to a nice, you know, fun little party tonight. Well, we go to a, the, we could hire a murderer, a scare house or something. We could hire a hit house. I was thinking we were going to not scary farm, but we could get a murderer. <laughs> you love Halloween. <laughs> oh my God." <laughs> you really love Halloween. You want to hire a hitman. <laughs> Just chalking it all up to Halloween. <laughs> Something. If you can't believe a convicted murderer, who can you believe, right? Mm, funny. But the truth Justin. is, when you think about it, her hey, coming Weber. out. And going full Weber, full you Anderson always have the saying, Yeah, I was a part of it, but so was Charlie. It was his idea to kill Dan. It was not mine. It wasn't Garcia's. It was not Rivera. Can't say I'm surprised by that. Of course, she Charlie. Goes, Charlie. Charlie's always in court doing these big motions. He's like, "This is not looking good for me." <laughs> the lady just said that I was the reason we killed her. That is not looking good for me. I would. They, uh, I am in a pickle. Right Char- now. They always they keep cutting to Charlie during court, and he's just like he's he's he's, he's uh, pulling his his collar. He's like, Yeesh. <laughs> Do not like my odds right now. <laughs> it's a little hot in here, Judge. Yeesh. <laughs> off of the murder charges and not admit her involvement. But if you think about it, admitting that she was involved is definitely going to complicate any chance she has in an appeal. But also, if Charlie really is the mastermind and the reason that she's it's behind always funny bars- when somebody named Charlie is accused of a grisly, like a hor- horrible act. Because like their, their name is just so silly. It's Charlie. <laughs> you just want to, even with Charles Manson, you go, but it's yeah. Charlie. It's like a cute little, like, uh, like it's British like, kid yeah, or something. It's Charlie. Charlie bit my finger. <laughs> exactly. Dad, Charlie, Charlie killed a pregnant woman <laughs> and smeared her blood on the, on the window. <laughs> he wrote Charlie oh, shot me in the head in the garage Dad, Charlie <laughs> said oh, p- oh pigs will die <laughs> what, did, what did Charles man What did they write What did the man's family uh, oh. Yeah I don't know Kill all pigs or Kill some all shit. pigs I'm about to pass out This is this Are you is, oh, okay Oh damn I'm fucked What's wrong with you? You're hitting the wall. Hitting the wall, bro. I'm like shaking. I've been shaking all day. Have a beer. You have the shakes. I'm trying to. I'm drinking the beer. (laughs) Have a beer. (laughs) You go have a beer. You're a doctor. (laughs) Joey's my general practitioner. Have a beer. (laughs) I call Joey. I go like genuinely shaking. You're like genuinely upset at him. You're like have a beer, (laughs) asshole. It works. I'm just, oh man, I'm fucking. Get it together, man. I'm trying. You're so unprofessional. I told Devin he had to carry this bad boy. Who's, what's going with Charlie? You're a mess, dude. Damn you. You coke riddled maniac. (laughs) You gotta quit doing coke. (laughs) I haven't done coke in like fucking four or five years. Six hours? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, before (laughs) this. Six hours. You're fucking closeted. (laughs) You're such a closeted psychopath. Psychopath Heather. You're a closeted homo. <laughs> no. I mean, Coke is a gateway to like ass. Homosexual activity. Yeah, right, I, yeah. Honestly, I could, I like, I was like, I could see a direct association with Coke and gay sex. I can see that too, but like also like, I, I remember like, like you can't get hard on Coke. Uh, they're figuring it out because they're deaf. They, they, <laughs> <laughs> hey, tell that to the guy. <laughs> tell that to the guy in the bathroom. <laughs> they're figuring it out. <laughs> For life, not surprising that she would want to take him down. But let's actually talk about how she did under cross examination by Charlie Adelson's defense counsel. Pretty soon after you got arrested, you were offered. To cooperate against Charlie Adelson and the other Adelsons, and you would get to go home to your kids, right? Yes, sir. And your lawyers told you about that offer? Yes, sir, they did. If you took the state's deal, then you would have been let out of jail immediately, right? That's what your lawyers told you. If I took their deal? Yes, sir. But you didn't take the offer? No, I didn't. Well, the deal was to give up Charlie. And you couldn't do that? 
because in order to give up Charlie, I had to give up the cradle of the father of my children, so I couldn't do that. Charlie Adelson didn't force you to take the deal, not take the deal, right? No, I had no communication with Charlie. Now, the real reason you didn't cooperate and you made it clear. I love his look right because now. Because Charlie like, huh. Adelson had absolutely nothing to do with the murder of Professor huh. Markell. Isn't that the case? I didn't cooperate because in order to give a, give up Charlie, I'd have to give up Sigfredo. Well, let's talk about the testimony Who's in your Sig first trial. Sigfredo. I think that's you one of the asked, assassins. Can you? Do you have that's information that name. Charlie Adelson was involved in this? Answer. Do I have to give up Charlie? I'd have to give up Geppetto. Information. Do you recall that? No, sir. I do not. You don't recall saying that in your first trial? No, sir, I do not. Would you like to see a transcript of yes, it? Yes, I will. Yes, so perhaps the jury will believe that she didn't tell the truth at first because she was protecting herself and the father of her children, Sigfredo Garcia. But as with any witness who admits that they lied in the past, particularly one who says that they lied to a jury, the question, of course, is why should we believe you now? So on this idea of whether Charlie was the man, right, up, your brother for the murder. And how much husband. did she know about Mandalay Bay? Really? <laughs> <laughs> Is she <laughs> hiding <laughs> Stephen Paddock's child porn? <laughs> Today, along with all of that us. That lawyer's kind of Well, I too. learned that someone made that argument. I don't know whether it's true or not true. Okay. You have no knowledge of it. I have no knowledge. In all the years this has been pending. In all of the years this has been pending. Your have, brother has known who killed your child's father. I want you her to give know. me a J.O.I. with this same I energy. Yeah, I want her to ja I want this lawyer to jack me off into the sink. She kicks ass. That's a very good lawyer. She's I've like, been watching like, her a lot. You think you're going to come? All these years, it's been leading up to you coming. And that's going to happen now. <laughs> there we go. You got your back. I'm back. I'm back. Hey, I got my wind. I got, back. <laughs> got a second wind here. Second. I'm probably just he's died back here. Like he's got a new lease on life, folks. <laughs> Jois, guys. <laughs> I'm, reaching, I'm reaching up. You go, you're just reaching into the sky. Like, come joke. <laughs> I know. I know. I'll grab it eventually. There's a come joke out there. Uh, uh, Mills. You're like a bear trying to catch salmon. It's, it's, oh, I'm, uh, like a, I'm like a fucking water buffalo. Oh, with that cancer. slipped out of my hands. Well, there's another. Into the uh, ether there's another. Come joke. There's another come joke coming. I know. There's something uh, out there. The killers in this case know. That Dan Markell. He doesn't deserve to be in the room with I love that account. this guy just keeps making the most I'm guilty faces of all time. Yeah, he's got a real. He just keeps rubbing his eyes. Like, he just keeps going, like, has God, I'm so fucking guilty. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh. every, every five seconds they cut to him and you he's just like, your look at him. father, and you didn't know. Hold on, I look at this. Know. How did the killers in this case know? <laughs> look, so look at him. He's Dan like, oh, no. <laughs> He's like, Jesus Christ, it's like I fucking, it's so obvious. I, I coordinated all of this. <laughs> he just keeps looking at I can't believe I got caught for the murder that I that I planned. Conspiracy. This is unbelievable. He's like, he keeps doing this. He, he does the mo fucking, woo. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Being tried for murder is so exhausting. I did it. He's like, there can't be one single motherfucker who thinks I'm innocent. He's like, he's, he's like, they all know. He's like, he's just like, they know I did. He's rubbing his temples. He's like, oh, God. <laughs> Couldn't be more obvious. I'm so fucking guilty. <laughs> 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 he goes, I'm so fucking guilty. He goes, oh shit, am I on mic? <laughs> to leave town the day after the killing. I have no idea. Oh, you knew he was planning it. to leave town the next day, didn't you? She's I lying did, yes. about did everything. Did you convey that information to anyone? Absolutely not. To your knowledge, did your brother have that information? I don't know why he would have known that. <laughs> You're a liar. So if the killers were told it has to be done today because he's leaving town tomorrow, we don't know how they knew that. I have no idea how they knew that. But it would have to come from someone familiar with Dan Markell's schedule, wouldn't it? They would have to find out somehow. I don't know how. You know, it's like my parents have more reason to dislike Danny than almost anyone else. <laughs> even his blinks are guilty. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, even the way he blinks right there. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did it. Right. Everyone knows I. He goes, yeah, 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 
<laughs> yeah, guys, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's almost like over it. He's like, like let's move it. Up. He goes, let's get to sentencing. Just guilty. He goes, can we just get to the sentencing? He goes, where's my cell? Where's my permanent he goes, cell? He goes, guys, why don't we just permanent like, cell? He goes, he goes, guys, can I get to my permanent cell right now? I'm over this. Enough of this charade. I'm obviously guilty of everything. Is that what you said? He's like that giving himself cornrows while sitting in court. He's like, I'm getting yeah. ready for this shit. Yeah. <laughs> they cut to him. He's got a bow tie on. He's already Muslim. <laughs> he's got that net hat. <laughs> he's just like doing push ups. <laughs> he's jacked. He, they cut to him. He's getting a tattoo from the, from the cafeteria he's chef. He's one of those Frito burritos they make in prison. He's like smashing up all the. <laughs> for hours and hours and trying to help them figure out who might be responsible right and who did you yeah. tell them might be responsible well i told them many many people but are you asking about this particular moment right here you told them your family might be responsible or potentially you? someone to do with a former student mm. or his current girlfriend oh, geez. charlie's like how do i make a flashlight okay. using the toilet he's oh. like it's, oh. it's a fee <laughs> fee <laughs> he's like a fee look at, look at look at his face right here he's he's like he's just thinking about how to make like quesadillas on a radio <laughs> <laughs> He's like, if I make, if I get really good at making fifis, I could sell them, <laughs> and then that would win the grace of the other prisoners. Right now, he's yeah. thinking. He goes. He goes. He goes. I'm gonna be a neo Nazi. <laughs> he, he goes. Should I claim Sardinia because I'm vaguely olive skinned? He's or? looking. He's looking to the. He's looking at his lawyers. Lawyers telling him some important information. He's like. He's like. He's like. Yeah, I'm gonna be a neo Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> He's stick and poking a swastika on his chest. Yeah, he's already doing a stick and poke. He's drawing swastikas on his arm right now. Family as well. Yep. Do you want the culpable parties held accountable for murdering the father of your children? Absolutely. I'm grateful they're already in jail. But not if Oh, enough of that your family. Act. It's not my family. Fuck I mean, somebody you, bitch, hired him, right? Murderous cunt. Not necessarily. Somebody paid him. I learned something this morning. Your Honor, the yeah, defendant is making a shank out of a toothbrush. Again, I have to point out that Wendy Innocent <laughs> has never been criminally charged in connection with the death of her ex-husband. But that doesn't mean that prosecutors... She hasn't been charged with anything yet? No. She kicks ass, Are you dude. fucking kidding me? No, nothing. She's responsible for this whole thing, isn't she? That's what everybody suspects, but she still has the kids. The, the, she's not letting the kids see their grandparents... Those kids are so fucked, by the way. Imagine them. I don't know how old they oh, are. Oh, God. I mean, yeah. But as, it, as soon as they're old enough to, like, learn about the trial, they're like, holy shit. Yep. This lady oh, yeah. that I've been living with yeah. killed my fucking dad. Well, they'll be yeah. on the Law and Crime Network like BTK's daughter. So <laughs> I can't yeah. wait for that. They'll be breaking down cases. So have laid out that she's an unindicted co-conspirator, won't ask these tough questions trying to show that she knew what was happening and was a part of it. Okay, as we continue talking about some of these shocking developments from the Charlie Adelson murder trial, the man accused of orchestrating God, a murder for hire. The, the man accused of orchestrating a murder of a, of a Getty image. For the the whitest man of all time. Of a, of a man that never actually existed. <laughs> was, of a man that was AI. He's he was got a, like he six was an fingers. AI picture. This guy is not real. They have one picture of him, dude. He never died. No one killed him. He never yeah. existed. <laughs> Wonder what they did? They ripped up a stock photo image in the woods. They they go they googled they googled dentist in the wood like on on a, on a fucking computer. They printed out an image of a dentist. Yeah, it looks like a fake background. <laughs> and then they tore it up in the woods, and they're being charged with murder. I'm actually I think everyone's innocent here. This guy never existed. This is the fakest man I've ever seen in my life. Look at him. The defense should shift their um, strategy to be going like. How could he be dead if he never existed? <laughs> Truly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look at him. He's not real. <laughs> My brother-in-law. Let's move on now to that Luis Rivera. Real. So investigators say that he and Sigfredo Garcia were the actual hitmen. Rivera, again, took a deal, pled guilty in exchange for testifying against his accomplices. But here's what he had to say about I'd hate Katie, to see that fucking why guy the killing took in my place, garage and whether oh, this was about blackmailing Charlie as the defense claims. <laughs> All right. So do you this know this is the guy that shows up at your door and he's like, hey, man, I just like ran out of gas. Can you have any gas money? <laughs> <laughs> he's like that, trying to rob you. I've had this guy like tell me he needs gas like 30 times in my life. <laughs> He comes up to you at the gas station. He's like, hey, like me and the wife, like we're on our way to 
Thanksgiving and it's like October and you're like uh, what and he goes yeah we don't have any we don't have any we have no money for gas but like it's like I lost my card but like can you just get me like a tank of gas so he's riding one of those mopeds you start with a lawnmower engine it's like yeah. really loud one you look over at his car it's the dog car from Dumb and Dumber <laughs> I Garcia or how Garcia came to know about this the fool didn't exist job. man <laughs> he goes, he's he goes, not real fool he goes it was a stock image it's bitch AI ho <laughs> it was a AI man bitch <laughs> fuck you bitch he, he didn't exist <laughs> alright so am I correct that Katie hired Garcia and Garcia hired you yes ma'am and he goes, I can't grow action. hair on my on my on my on my lower neck, so I, I got a I got a tattoo of Mary Magdalene on it instead. <laughs> Come to Tallahassee to do the murder. All these guys always have a picture of some like biblical figure on their neck. The Catholic. They're all Mexicans. Yeah. Catholics. <laughs> they're Cubans. Oh, he's Cuban. Are Cubans, Same thing. Cubans Catholic? Island. Yeah, they're all Catholic. Cubans are Catholic. Yeah. You and Garcia? Yes, ma'am. But not Katie. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma so she stayed in Miami. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All right, and who was to get the money once the the job was done? Katie. All right, and did she get the money? Yes, ma'am. He's know cooperating like crazy. Do you My know ass. where she got the money? From? Oh, he's so guilty. Like he's, they have so much on it, they can't like even deny. It. Oh, he's yeah. he's snitching to get any lower sentence. Yeah, and he's like, yeah, if you cooperate and tell us about who paid you, yeah. you're gonna get the a best lot guy to snitch sentence. on is the rich white dude too. Which you won't, that won't carry into prison whatsoever at all. No, they don't care. It's they're amazing. like, they're like, they're like, they're like. So what'd you do? He's like, I killed a stock photo. <laughs> and they're like, man, fuck those people, bro. <laughs> it's really, really bad to snitch on gangs. Yeah, yeah. Because their other gang members will kill you. Right. I told you about the Mexican. But if mafia you're snitching guy. on some white, he has family, no. Yeah, that guy dies. Like, no like, yeah, one. He's like, I was a hired hand. Like, what? Is, what do you want out of me? I'm, of course, I'm going to snitch on that bullshit. Family. He's not going to go to jail, and then that guy's cousin, yeah. Yeah. you know, is going to be like, oh, I heard you snitched on, uh, you know. No, it's not like there's going to be a bunch of gang members that confront him in prison. They're like, we heard you snitched on the Smith family. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> like, yeah, they don't yeah. give a shit. A podiatrist. <laughs> yeah, we heard like like the Adelsons were. Good people. <laughs> Yo, Allison people. still got the shooters dentist. out here. I called the dentist at that time. The dentist? Like when, this um, guy looks three Randy feet tall. Her brother. Did you originally describe the purpose behind this murder as helping a lady in I sleep inside a Pokemon ball. What do you mean? Were you, did you describe the... I know your purpose was money. Yeah. But whoever did the hiring had a different <laughs> purpose, right? Yes. And what was your understanding of that purpose? For the kids. To get these kids. Get the kids back. Okay. And do you know any more about that? <laughs> Look at him. Which He's like, yeah, I'm an, I'm definitely gonna be a neo Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> but I hate this look guy. at that! Look at that! Look at his face! <laughs> look at him! He's, he goes, you just you can't trust Cubans. <laughs> He's like, why did I go with Cubans? He goes, why? He goes, God damn it! Why did I go with these fucking Cubans? Every time they cut to him, he just looks more and more like Stone Cold Steve He's Austin. He's so annoyed. He's like, God! He's dressed like he's at a wedding. Yeah. Family member did what and whose kids they were or anything like that? No, I don't think I know the kids was um, Wendy. That's mm -hmm. her name. Wendy. They're Wendy's kids. Yeah, that's the only thing I know. Have you ever had any kind of contact with any member of the Adelson family? No, ma'am. During the time that Catherine Magbano was dating the dentist, were you around her during that time? I mean, I've seen her a few times. During the times that you saw her while she was dating the dentist, did she ever brag to you about the dentist at all? No, ma'am. Did she ever tell you the dentist has a lot of money? No, ma'am. The dentist has a safe full of cash in his home? No. So do you even know who the dentist is? I mean, do you know who he is here never in the met courtroom? Him, never met him in my life until today. Well, I, gotta, I gotta tell you, like, if we're in the same cell, I'm gonna rape the shit out of that <laughs> punk bitch. He better be a Nazi real quick, or I'm gonna fuck his ass. If he doesn't become a Nazi and choose a side which shows respect, I'm gonna fuck him in the ass <laughs> every fucking day.
<laughs> lawyers have indicated that you and Garcia got this idea on your own to come to Tallahassee and kill the professor. He laughed. Is that true? It? No. A good one. Did you? He keeps looking at the lawyer like he like is about to be like you looking all types of good and shit. <laughs> like you gonna make me act up, he goes, bitch. He goes, he goes, bitch, don't make me act up right now. Like I'm gonna whip it out. <laughs> he goes, I'm gonna whip it out. <laughs> I'm gonna whip it out, bitch. Uh, Kill him and then try to get Katie to blackmail the dentist. No. So you hear prosecutors trying to move away from this theory from the defense that it was Rivera for the guy in the middle, Mr. Handsome Man. Man. Yeah, what happened to this guy? This to who's worse? Mark where's the Tom Ford model? To show that these were guys he must who were just be, uh, paid being to do job, separately or something. And that it was because of the Adelsons that this happened. Now let's hear what happened on cross examination. Let's hear it, Jesse. Attorneys. Let's hear it. We're doing a long. So let's app. briefly recap all the lies that they told. He you. goes. He, look at look at. Look at I love this guy, Charlie Adelson. Look at him. He, he looks goes, like a hobbit. He goes, yeah, I'm like the I'm like the the human equivalent of a of a scared mouse. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, yeah, yeah, no, I did it, but you know, I hired Cubans. So like, I thought it would. I thought they would get the sentence, not me. About the purpose of the trip going to Tallahassee, right? Yeah. They lied to you about who. The I didn't know Cubans could look trip. so Mexican. That's crazy. Yeah. They lied to you about the amount of money they received. Yeah. Isn't it possible that they lied to you about the purpose of the job to begin with? They don't even got the money. Where they gonna get the money from? Isn't it possible that you thought it was a murder for hire, but it was really an extortion? Extortion to who? Charlie Edelson, not from you, but from oh, them. Okay. Isn't it possible? I don't know. So that's interesting, right? Garcia, McBanawa, they kept on lying to you about all these details. Is it not possible that they lied to you about why this was being carried out in the first place? That maybe it was their idea and not Charlie's. Maybe this was an extortion plot. Kill Dan Markell, and then we'll try to extort unsuspecting Charlie Adelson. The defense really trying to raise reasonable doubt here as to Charlie's involvement. Okay, so I want to finish this up now with the testimony of two people who were once close to Charlie Adelson. They've testified before, but I guess, you know, testifying now against Charlie Adelson directly has a little bit of a different meaning. So first up is his girlfriend Whoa. at the time this all happened. Ooh. And she talks about this Charlie's is some, wait, this, is, this is that white bitch's girlfriend? Uh, it's Charlie. It, that white retard that we were making fun of? Yeah, Charlie? Getty yeah. guy. This is his girlfriend? I think so. Yeah. Wow. That murder was stupid. So it's real Killers of the, it's killers of the Flower Moon shit going yeah. on with the Adelson family. Yeah. There's a lot of odd stuff happening. He's like, I can't believe she made it to court when I was injecting her with poisonous insulin all, all month. This is Miami shit where it's just like. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe she even had the energy to get to court. I've been fucking trying to kill her for the last month. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. He's telling her to stop going to Washington, yeah. D.C. His doctors are just like, this will just slow her down, Charlie. This is just going <laughs> to slow her down. <laughs> you just make sure to give her this little vial. It'll just slow. It's good. All it's going to do is slow her down. <laughs> <laughs> Particularly after the infamous bump incident I mentioned. As I said, when the undercover FBI agent bumped into Donna Adelson on the street pretending to be, to be an associate of the killers in an I effort to get so Charlie and Manuel to start what would you talking. Say to her? Well, listen to what June Amchinda had to say about Charlie. June Amchinda? The, time th frame the fuck of name the is that? Bump. That sounds Filipino. But yeah, I think they're all Filipinos, man. Because they, the they, they all look Asian yet Mexican. And, and that's what June, a, a June, Filipino. That sounds like a Filipino name. Does. A Filipino's an Asian Mexican. So the bump in April, but prior to Ms. McBanawa's arrest in October, was the defendant picking up communication with Catherine McBanawa. Did you notice that he was communicating with her more? I don't know if it was that time frame, like I said. During this time frame that I'm talking about, if we gave you the, Beirut, would it the help? defendant expressed concerns to you that his if we phone gave you, was being If we gave you a fried duck fetus right now, would you, <laughs> would you be able to answer questions better? Do you want some pork intestines? Do you want to do karaoke and watch, watch people eat fried rice with Skittles in it? <laughs> would that help? <laughs> John, John's literally like completely literally finished. Right He's so I retarded know. right now. Devin, Devin chose the one day to do the long episode. 
You're I'm terrible. Done. I'm, I'm, I'm having a good time, hours. and I think I'm having, I'm having, I'm having a great time. I think the people deserve uh, as much of, uh, that we can give them. I'm having a wonderful time. And I'm, I'm having fun, ever. man. And I missed last ep because. But also, uh, by the way, I want to yeah. say, I woke up that day, and your white blood cell count plummeted. Very good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I'm saying last ep. I when I I didn't make it. You I were at the Dallas Buyers Club. Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> you have AIDS, Joey. Oh, I had AIDS. Yeah, I was sick with AIDS. That's why <laughs> you were out with AIDS, but you beat it. I got what you were trying to say. We, I we bumped get those it. white blood cell counts you up. Took and some, you took some Flonase, and it beat the AIDS. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But no, I woke up and I fucking. Vitamin it was the C, most puke vitamin C. ever. The most puke I've ever puked in my life. It's very funny to think about the way you're describing it. Yeah, why were you puking? Because you woke up in the morning. After Thanksgiving, after Thanksgiving he ate a whole and you pizza. you ate a whole pizza in the yeah. morning. Yeah, and also John kept saying he had the flu. <coughs> and yeah. So I was like, but then I, so I woke up and I did, I had a full pizza just in my fridge. Do you ever get like, you'll get wings and then pasta and a pizza and then you <laughs> no. I don't think so. I don't think ever. I do that. <laughs> <laughs> but they, wings? But, Wait, you got wings, pasta, and pizza? Yeah, yeah. Did you order everything from Domino's? No, 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 no. It was like some Italian restaurant. But no, okay. so so the night before, or maybe the morning, that was what I had for lunch on Thanksgiving. You came, you came to my Thanksgiving. John came to my Thanksgiving. Yeah, it was very nice. No, I know, but early, like for breakfast, basically, I had, I got uh, pasta, <laughs> like, wings. Like John it. is such he's a so mess. Fucking, I feel bad for John. He's holding the mic to his head like it's a gun. I know. Yeah, I'm going to go. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, I got pasta, wings, pizza. Ate the pasta and the wings. Had a full pizza in my fridge. Woke up from Thanksgiving, got, you know, fr- hung over. Mm-hmm. And then I ate the whole pizza right when I woke up. Amazing. And then I chugged a bunch of Gatorades. Chugging the Gatorade is your mistake. Yeah. I yeah, think dude, that's what you, really you drank it. too much with food. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to yeah, do that. Yeah, yeah. You're like, like drinking too many liquids. And with I, food. I was, I was like thinking like, oh, but I probably just, that that's why I puked. But then because John was saying he had the flu, I'm like, well, maybe I have the fucking flu. So I, you were trying to protect us. Yeah, yeah, yeah actually, being, yeah. You're being a guardian. I angel. wanted to come. I'm like, not even kidding. You I want like, to come? Yeah. Is that a. I yeah. believe you. I actually did. And, but no, I was just like, fuck, I might actually have a, some kind of virus. Yeah, you're being a good guy. You're doing the opposite of what I do. Yeah. You know, right? Give my friends hand, foot, and mouth disease. Yes. Yeah, you're a bad, but anyways, you're a bad yeah. person. Yeah. 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 That's what I'm All right, well, we'll, we'll wrap this up. Yeah, wrap we, this we up. Can get, we can get John an Advil or something for the Patreon, because you are a, a You're a mess. Let's talk something mess. cooler than this shit. I, you know... Uh, You're blaming. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> it has nothing... You know, enough of that. I, this know, is a, enough, I love this shit. How about enough of that? How about, enough <laughs> of that? how about you figure out the whole point of this is to make the most out of anything also, in front of you? Also, I love <laughs> We're not in my fucking living room, dipshit. We're not just hanging out. You're supposed to turn it on and have skill. And yeah. so you're supposed to uh, be able to make the most Listen. out of anything who, in front of you. Who would have guessed like the That's Johnny the Depp job. shit would have been Listen, funny to watch? Came, but it is. I it's came like, to the, this I is came, a great The case. Johnny Depp was amazing. This is a great He trial. loves to do this. If it's not Johnny exactly what he wants, he like has nothing. Yeah. I came he to the blames, table with a twink he stuck in my the tits. content. And, you know, this guy, I came to the table with an amazing movie night. I fucking went out and did some crazy shit. And, and Devin, He's trying to be like, oh, I had a good story at the beginning, so now I can just lazily yawn. No one cares just, yeah, about nobody our stories. Cares. Yeah. No one cares. I have to move on from those as quick as possible mm. these days. <laughs> yeah, uh, it was yeah. good, but you can't. They're rest mildly, on your they're mildly amusing once in a blue moon. Mm. Yeah, but for the most part, we started off just to ease into what we're gonna watch. We got to get back to the watching. I agree. I'm tired, I agree. boss. The watching is the you know it's in the name of the show. That was we're not wa- we're the, the the show isn't called Hate Watch John's Life. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, I don't think that. You, you have a real weird thing where, like, if something isn't exactly like, you don't seem to, you don't seem to make the. What like, are you talking the, about? It's, it's we're watching uh, you fucking Cholo talk about. So like, make what? as many jokes as possible that you can. Try and use I'm your trying. I got. I've run out of the cum repository, buddy. I'm. 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 I've, I'm dry. I understand that. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm shitting on you on an off day, like you did cocaine. This uh, is a uh, great man fucking night. trial. Though. Oh, I understand. Trial. Last night, like you found yourself and you're like you're <laughs> yeah, a gay, you're yeah, a gay yeah, man yeah. and you like do cocaine with gays and stuff. Yeah. 
So like this is a weird day for you. But I'm I'm just saying for the most part you have this weird thing where like no matter what I put on, you're like if it's not exactly up I your think alley. That's false. If it's not exactly up your false. alley, you like go like I'm I'm, I think that's I'm false. uninterested. I get what he's saying because I do love this trial and you you're being like you're blaming it. You're saying it's a bad I just I just have A D D. That's the problem. I know. Yeah, you need horrible. to do something about that. What am I gonna do about it? Think Devin? about it a little more. Yeah, and think like, about and ADD. When think about what when you start getting those feelings where like I'm bored and this sucks, be mm. like why no, no. No, don't stop. Stop that. Is that because no. I'm a, a gay cokehead? Yell at your brain. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Is that because yeah, I'm, this is I'm, bringing me back. I'm we're Alfred Molina in Boogie Nights. <laughs> you know. Listen, we understand you were handing firecrackers to Vietnamese twinks last night. <laughs> I wish. All right, we're almost done. Okay, John? I mean, it was probably during that time frame, but he did say that at some point. What was the defendant's behavior like after Catherine Magbana was arrested? Well, I guess his behavior was just someone that's being con convicted of murder. Or not convicted, <laughs> he's murder, so. All right, was he, quote, very scary to be around? Um, um, I mean, he's gross, and he said he's he really wanted to go to prison to become a neo-Nazi. I mean, <laughs> you might have said that, or you did say that. I think I did say that because um, we had a fight, so I was afraid one if time. If I had a girlfriend like this, mm -hmm. I would... I would, and I loved her, like I loved her, but of course there's still like, you know, you're a little shallow or whatever. I would be, I would every day I'd be like working towards getting in the amount, getting enough money and be like, you're removing those moles. She's got moles? <laughs> she's got two little, Where? she's got a dot here and a dot there. And I'd be like, I would just every day I'd look at that and go, <laughs> I go, I you love the Uncle Buck. I go, you become obsessed every with day yeah. I go, I love you, but I am obsessed with these two <laughs> moles. And it's driving me up a wall. <laughs> but not that hard to remove. You know, I love you, but you get those fucking... You go, hey, listen. I am in love with you. I go, it's a blemish. But I am being consumed I go, by the two moles. Listen, I can't stop connecting the dots. <laughs> it's a straight line. Get it line. done! Get it fixed! I have a weird fucking lump on my back. Where? Whoa, what? I have a weird lump on my back. Right in the middle of my back on my spine. Let me see. I'll Whoa. show it to you after. Oh, wait, what? Touch it. I have one too. It's I right think here. it is just like a fat deposit, but I am going to get it checked it's a out. Tumor. I've had this for years, buddy. Well, I'm trying to find it. Anyways, I got one on my head. You want to feel the what one on my head? What a fucking depressed. Touch this, what, what, what are you touch saying? Touch that, Debbie. Touch right, right, my spine. right there, where my fingers pointed. Uh, where my fingers pointed. Okay. Don't just. It's you're fine. All right, I'm about to touch Don't it. Don't like ET. Fucking. Right, this is right where my fingers at. There's a bump right there. Oh yeah, I feel that. That's what a, is that? Did you hit your head? That's what's gonna kill me in about three months. <sighs> hey, well, Did you hit your head? No, that's just always been there, man. For like a last like five, six years, right here, Jojo. Really? That's always been well, there. Right there, right there, right where my middle finger's at. Have you ever thought to go to the doctor over that? That's not. That's. Fine. I had one taken off of my face. It's above the skull. It's you, you like what? Little, Joy, what is yours? Can you show star? us real quick? I'll show you that. Because there's doctors that listen. It's, Why? What? We have doctors? I'm sure somebody. Right. Some psychopath. It's literally just a skin colored lump on in the middle of my I have back the same thing. on my spine. Yeah. Like you think it's like a, a zit? No. Yeah. It's not a six. I've had it for like a, over a year. I've had this for years. I've had the one on my back for years. Uh, you see but it's not scar. dangerous. I looked it up and I'm pretty sure it's, it's benign. A, it's a benign. It's benign. What do it's they benign. say? What do they say online? They say it's a fat deposit that happens sometimes. And I am going to, like, they say you should get it checked out. So next time I go to the doctor, I'm going to ask it's them to biopsy. check. Biopsy. Yeah, but I'll do a biopsy. When are you going to do that? I'm probably not that soon. Do it. Do it soon. I'll, I'll, Listen, well, it'll be on the hate watch. <laughs> okay, please, please do it as quick as possible. I want to. We need to. We need to get. I had one this. on my face. That's what this little scar is. I had her. I mean, removed. you're. I mean, once, I lived here once, when I had her. Remember again, that shit? I, I don't care about what's going on with you. <laughs> <laughs> you're if always I died, going to be devastated. I'm I, kidding, of course. I, I, yes, that's. I just touched your head. You were a, like, "Yeah, this has been around for six years." It's a cyst. That's all. John it's is like so a funny with cyst. When John gets upset with Devin, he'll go, yeah, how about I kill myself? I bet, <laughs> I bet you really love that, huh? I used, I used the worst tragedy in Devin's life. I weaponize it and use it against him. <laughs> I use the worst thing that's ever happened to Devin. If, go, either, of you had any, if either of you had any problems going on. I had, I had this joke where I, I told Joey harmless. one day. 
I hope. Yeah. It, it really is. I had a joke where I told Joey one day. I said, why don't, why don't you and I kill each uh, kill each other? <laughs> Remember that? What? <laughs> it's like a joke where I was like, let's have Devin have the worst day of all time, and you and I just kill each oh, other. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just ruin his life. <laughs> 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 no note no note just fucking blow each other's heads off no explanation Devin just kind of thinks about it every no day no closure he just wants like, me for the rest of my with, life what happened with those two why did they do that <laughs> Uh, All right, fuck it. Fuck this case. Let's, let's wrap it up on that. That was yeah. fucking funny. <laughs> I always think about that. It is funny to think about how, but like, because somebody loves you, you could change the course of their life. Yeah. yeah. Like, if, yeah. It with one to sit, if you don't care about your life, I guess. Yeah. You know? Right? That's why yeah, weaponizing love, yeah. weaponizing love is, uh, you know, that's why, crazy. That's why, uh, yeah. Yeah, you know. Yeah, women. Joey and I dealt with that not too long ago. Oh, every ex girlfriend ever had did we, that. We shit had to me. we had a guy we we that was like the most uh, lively person we'd ever met in our lives die and kill himself, and we were like that was the most shocking. It's, it was so shocking. This, it, it, well, you're about to have another one, buddy. For the rest of I'm my doing life, it tonight. it'll be the most shocking thing that's ever happened to me. Like I, I Damn, can't, I still yeah. can't. I, only, I hope to God that's the most shocking. I hope. I literally, I literally, when that happened, I go, well, I hope this is the. I hope I already went through the worst thing to ever happen to me. It's honestly that we're still like, there's time. I know there's that's what's, cre that's what's creepy. So I'm, I'm always like, guys, just get. I hate to get say an Uber. It. Like, don't fly or don't. I'm gonna don't, die don't, very soon. Fly. No one get in a car. Or I don't. Just don't I do. Feel that I too. just. I want everyone to just like sit in my living room and like no hang jinx. with me until we all die. No, that's I, I'm, I'm, ter I'm terrified of anyone doing anything. Same. Same. No, I turn into a mother yeah, hen. He's a mother. After, Devin's a mother. After hand. Jack died, I'm like, I don't, don't, don't stop. Yeah. I, start, I, th I, start th I think about that too. That's so why Devin hates just, me so much. I'm like, so God, loosey goosey. You piss me off. I know it's crazy. Yeah, you're like playing with fire, and it, it like bothers gonna, me. And I'm gonna die one day, very soon. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you're gonna have to deal with that, buddy. It'll be good for you. You'll grow. <laughs> true. God. I'm gonna do some dumbass shit. Stop. Stop. Don't do that. I'm fucking with you, pal. I'm fucking. I'm fine. I'm, I, I'll live forever. I'm invincible. Yeah. I made a made a steal. I mean, you have a big bump on your head. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's crazy. It's been there forever. If it was, it's if it would have been there it forever, kill, it would have killed me by now. <laughs> <It> <laughs> <would've> <laughs> killed, <laughs> I love, I love bro science. <laughs> yeah, but I had it for six years. It would have killed me by I now. Know, it's I, fine. I think that is fine. I think that mine is fine because it's it's uh, that is subcutaneous. Positive. It's not like in. Uh, you know, if it were under his skull or something, then perhaps I'd be like, oh, shit, that's yeah. very we could, bad. We could, like, literally cut it out tonight if we really wanted to. We could let's, cut, cut, let's, cut let's cut our lumps out. Let's cut our lumps out. Let's, let's cut our lumps out. All right, let's, uh, let's wrap this up. Um, right. I love you guys very much. Love you, too. Buddy. I love you guys with all my heart. We missed Connor tonight. He's doing shows in Brea. He's going to be a comedian. Big comedy hot shot. But, and then Jason Sheehan, the fan, was going to go <laughs> meet him. This and dude, Jason Connor was going to vet Jason to be like, is he sane? And then we could bring him in because he wants to be like our slave. Jason, you're going to be our slave. And uh, that would be funny to have a guy because he could watch the, the monitors and just make sure that like, it's recording. It's Jason that. is a sweetheart, but he, he sent us all those avocados. Lovely guy. He sent us, yeah, the farm, the farm yeah, stuff. He works yeah. on a farm. Which is great. But yeah, Jason got the China virus. Well, he goes like, hey, guys, so, like, I love you guys. Can I please just be your producer? Like, I'll run errands for you. I'll go buy you vapes and I'll buy you beer and shit mm. and he's like and we're like all right maybe uh why don't you go um he uh when you meet connor at this comedy show in brea connor's gonna vet you yeah and if you seem okay then yeah but then he got he cut down he, i think he, he got, he got just, the china you think he got nervous you don't think he has he got, covid my suspicion is that he just got nervous and he got scared i think he has covid he said it in the, uh, le in the same, 11 party live stream he announced it and i, I think uh, you know I trust. Well, them, yeah. you better trust fucking clean up your act, Sheehan. It's winter. It's going. I mean, it's going it out, around. Buddy. Sweat again. the virus out. Let's go. Sweat it out. Get together. But yeah. Anyway, so we missed Connor this week. Uh, but we, I think this was a good, like a you know, mm -hmm. a nice little cla Chill. the classic, the classic trio. Yeah. Christmas time. This is a good one. Here. Even despite despite the fact that John uh, is now, Devin's is now breath gay. smells like shit. 
Mm-hmm. Fisting man at <laughs> 5 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> on a coke fueled bender. I, you know what? I, det- I detest you for laughing at this. You were my here. partner in crime that entire night. And that's why it's so funny is that I keep calling you a gay cokehead, but I was He's literally side there by being side. a gay cokehead with me the entire night. <laughs> But well, you, didn't as gay. you weren't as gay, but yeah. you were way gayer. You were way like, gayer. I'm way gayer. Christmas time. All right, I got a piss, buddy. Here. Like, can't you just like hold it together no, and I give the people dude. what they want? You are such a fascinating human being. Thank you. I love you. I love you so much, and you're so fucked up. That's crazy, right? It needs to shift at some point because, like, at a do you want me to be straight, brother? John, I'm just. You saying. want me to go straight? No, I don't. I want you. No, I want you to be like yourself. But like by thirty five, thirty six, you should have shit figured out. Yeah. Well. Okay. I'm gonna be honest. With you. Broke up my girlfriend. Give me like three months. Okay. I'm, I'm on a. I'm a wild man right now. How like relax. It's, 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 he it's said been that three months late. Ago. No. No. It was late. Three? Off. Has it been three already? No. It's been. We let. She fucking split up at the end of October. Like fucking. Give me. A, it's fucking December right now. We have okay. one oh, month. That's in. right. It's yeah. right. relax. It fuckos. It felt like longer. Yeah. Chill out. Jesus Christ. We'll give me a little more. Give me a little leeway. Proud of you. you haven't texted her. No. There's been no contact. No. It's no. over. Yeah, it's done. And that's beautiful. It's mm-hmm. dead. It's dead in the water. It's fucking you'll dead never, as disco, it'll, baby. You'll never be with her ever. Nope. So get that through your fucking skull. I'm already in there. Oh, John already. John what knows. The, oh, bump, the bump in. in your head is all your mistakes. <laughs> 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 all right, folks. God bless you. Uh, we'll see you next week. Thank you for see listening. You. We love you. I love you. Love you. Good night. I always say good night, but I'll say uh, good morning. Sorry, I'm a